one time. Nah, you be loud. So I want to make sure that you... That's why my device is a little... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, you be screaming. You know Yo, do it, no. Listen, man, because I, I get hyped like that, yeah. nigga. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? This nigga's crazy. Yeah. Well, look, man, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look, are we all before I even get into some yeah, energy? That's, we got, that's, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, 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 that's right for here? you, bro. Oh, yeah, I had this. I, te- I text you this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the sweet chain. Facts, yeah. facts, facts, facts. That's, that's the new uh, cut of that right there. So I okay. get you right. You know what I mean? You came in with the. Uh, oh, my God. Well, what's the name of that joint that's you came Cash Tree the right cash there. Cash Tree. Yeah. I nigga said two bands. a zip. Two bands for the ounce. Something different. I put that shit right back down. I took a smell. You already rolled something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Later on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, this is just weird. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get in, we rolling? Nigga, what you? Why wouldn't we? Come Before on. we get into anything, this is a special day. Is it? Wait, it's, wait, it's, wait. It's not... No, 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 no. Fuck all that. Shut up. <laughs> Why is it special? It's Tell my me. brother's birthday. Yo, today birthday. your birthday? What? Oh, man, happy... Nah, and hold up, my nigga. with you on your oh, birthday. Man. You said you was coming. Oh, man, wait, wait you said, did that on purpose? He said, he oh, man, nah, 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 nah. See, now I got to get y'all the exclusive, Yo, exclusive, B. Happy birthday, nah, brother. Yeah, man, happy I birthday, you, man. I love you, too, nigga. Appreciate you. My nigga. Appreciate Yo, man, you brother. always been a motherfucking uh, stand-up nigga in my eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody that got anything bad to say about you, bro, and that says a lot. You know what I'm saying? You ain't met me yet. Nigga ain't beat me yet, bro. Nigga, watch my first time shaking your hand, brother. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You ain't beat me yet. Yeah, man. Nah, I appreciate you. Happy birthday, though. How you feeling? I How feel your spirits? good. You feel good? Yeah, I mean, you know, my spirits, my spirits is getting there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with the good energy. So okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's getting me. It's getting me through. But yeah. um, you know, it's another, it's another day. Yeah. Niggas blessed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Get to talk to my cool friends on a, on a cool day. Talk to you know them. Life I mean? is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Yeah. Word. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, if you've been smoking rock or under a rock, you now tuned into the Personal Party Podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Followed by the wackest ad lib. You already know that was a good one too. It don't matter how I feel. The wack, the wack ad lib is always gonna make me feel like it's a wack ad lib. You know what I'm saying? God, very special guest. Keep 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 going on, brother. Very 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 special guest. You know what I mean? I got one of my brothers in the house tonight. You know what I mean? A nigga that I respect his opinion, and I don't respect a lot of people's opinion, but I respect his. A real one, and when I say real one, it's an understatement because, you know, a lot of niggas call themselves real ones, but they don't be doing real shit. Yeah, and no. this is a nigga that all my interactions with this man, everything that he's, all the kind words has been floated, you know what I mean, my way all these years. I have, you know, I got the utmost respect for. Um, also one of my favorite partners in the motherfucking game, That's you know what I mean? Mm. You know, and I, and <clears throat> I got to say, because I'm always a nigga to give credit where credit is due. Right. Uh, uh, upon our conception of podcasting, you know, y'all niggas was the gold standard for us. Facts. You yeah. know what I mean? As far as niggas that carry great conversations, that keep it entertaining, that's not afraid to be edgy, but y'all don't, y'all never had to be edgy. Y'all never even had to talk about what was going on outside of which I had in front of y'all. So I always respected that and respected how you carry conversations and respect your perspective. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> I would like to say we share the same perspective on uh-huh. a lot of things. Yeah. Right? So listening to you, you know what I mean? I'd be like, yeah, that's my nigga. It's like you one of us me? on it's the like TV. one of yeah. us on the joint. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I got my motherfucking brother Maul in the house tonight. Shit. Hold oh, on. Let me, let me you, turn my shit up, man. Shit. Let's shit go, up. man. God damn, man. And it's your birthday, man. You got your levels Word, right, I didn't man. know. I ain't know it was your birthday, man. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, I'll be Special trying to go day. through this shit like another day. I'm like, I'm yeah, off man. the internet. I'm like cleansing. I'm yeah, like, you yeah. know. Doing things shit. to get right. Doing shit to get right. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm smoking good weed and I'm just, you know, mm-hmm. accepting the love that's, right. that's being that's being shit. But, I ain't gonna um, hold you. I, ain't, I, I thought he wasn't gonna show up though. Why nah, you never that? that. I would never do that to him. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know, man. Never that. Niggas be doing that to me? Nah, nah. I definitely so wouldn't from, do that. You know what I mean? You know, one o'clock turned to two o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. <laughs> but but Special, I did keep in touch with you. I did. Nah, I mean, it's the whole did, way he through. Did, he did. Yeah. He did. I, I told he you two thirty. Yeah. So three thirty wasn't really. That's some smoke dizzy time. Yeah, I, I was listening. like, he was right in time. He was right I, on time. I started listening to nineties hip hop. Got lost. <laughs> <laughs> and looked up like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, usually I be carrying this shit the whole way through, and I am, mm-hmm. because I'm the A mic. 
You the, you the C Mike today? Nah, Again. nah, nah, nigga, you, you, you nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. He mall is mall. Yeah. But this is, I'm, <laughs> I'm a visitor. I'm a visitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm on the visitor team tonight. Yeah, I'm saying man. when it comes to this posh, yeah. yeah, big homie. Yeah, I'm on the visitor team tonight. Big homie. I'm on the visitor team tonight. Big homie. I seen every episode. Big homie. But here, show Broadway. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, man. Yeah, nah, this is your home. Yeah, thank you. Be my time. Good, good shit, be Mike. I'm glad you took you to stand like that. Nah, for sure. I am from Harlem, brother. All right, Come so on, brother. speaking of being from Harlem, yes. Yeah. What you what you said where, where, where my nigga went in Harlem? We we what, you said the Boys Club. What was it you said? Boys Choir Harlem. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, my nigga. No, that wasn't. Nah, 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 nah. I, oh no, yeah, I, I was no, 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 no. I, I'm done, I'm not teasing yeah, my cousin, you today. Uh, I'm teasing you later. You know, you know. I don't even want to say his name on the. On, you know, we could blank it out. Um, Will William McWhite. You know William McWhite? Nigga, that's fair. That's my cousin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Raheem, you know what I'm saying? Raheem yeah. and William. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, nigga. That's, that's my nice. uncle. Yeah, that, yeah whatever. You know what I'm saying? Family, we, nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm Tom somebody, bro. You, my nigga, I, I, I be trying to tell you, you I'm connected out here, too. You, <laughs> I be, nah, 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 fuck with you, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to lobby this shit up, man. Yeah. You, like, you know what I'm saying? You was pouting over here. I wasn't ever pouting. Like, he high. So All right, my fault. Let, me, let me hold back. Yeah. See? Go ahead. See? Good. I'm sorry. You yeah. see? So we got more That's why you the see, Mike. You know what it is. Come on. This is my family right here, my nigga. Got, you know what I'm saying? That's why. Dick. But nah, you, I said that because you always come with these, inst- these interesting tidbits about our guests that I don't even be knowing. Mm-hmm. And then you be connected with these people in like this six degrees of separation kind of way. Because it's not our first guest where you like you know somebody that... And they, they confirm it. Like, yeah, that's the... So that's why I said that. But that's why I'm your friend, though. Yeah, that's why you're here. Because if I, if you, if ain't you had no, that, yeah, you, you would, yeah, you'd be better. I know, I know. <laughs> 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 but but right, but coming up early, right, more like mm-hmm. you know, I like to say you're an uptown nigga. You yeah, represent for sure. both for sure. You know, Bronx, what I mean? and, Harlem, Bronx yeah. and Harlem, we cousins. HBO. Mm-hmm. But what was the origin? Uh, I lived in the Bronx, Creston Ave, uh, 190th, Fordham. That uh, my family's from Harlem. My mom's went to Wadley. Ah, uh-huh. oh, third, third from over Wadley. there, right? Burnside over there. Um, yeah, third from the from Grand Ave. Grand yeah. is around. That's a yeah. Yeah. Preston, yeah. Solo, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. all the hood. Yeah. I'm from yeah. all day. Yeah. Davidson University, mm-hmm. Jerome. Mm-hmm. Um, but I went to school in, in Harlem. My family's from Harlem, but um, my mom's just you know she moved to the Bronx uh, like two years before she had me, because Harlem was kind of. Wild back in you know what I mean them days sure. so so it's crazy sure. because the uh, part of the Bronx where she moved for them at that time it was a it was a really really nice area you know what I mean like so where the says and shit is at yeah Alexander you know what I'm saying I was like Alexander. a Jewish neighborhood my mom right? used to take me there yeah as a I lived kid right behind Alexander, Alexander. Oh, that was that's my crazy. block right there that's so crazy. that was um that's where I grew up at um my family's from Harlem though all over Harlem you know what I mean so I read both because I spent I spent weekends in Harlem I spent I went to school in Harlem so you know. The block was in the Bronx, though. Right, you know right, right, that's right. Where, that's where I, that's where I, I learned my skills to say, to say, <laughs> to say not to, not to say, not too to much. say too we much. We understand what you're saying, brother. We already, we already yeah. follow. Yeah. We on that type of time. Yeah. I feel like most of the best cultured uptown niggas shared that origin of Harlem and the Bronx. Yeah, it's, it's the best of both worlds. It's only a, it's a it's a three minute walk across a bridge that separates Talk us. To you know what I mean? So it's like. I don't even know why niggas like, yo, he from Harlem, he ain't from the Bronx. It's like, fam, it's, we, they right there. It's the three Burrow minute cousins, walk. You know Burrow what I'm saying? Cousins. So, yeah, nice. so it's like, you know, you got family in Harlem, you got family in the Bronx. That's just how it go. Right, 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 right. See, so, <clears throat> not even to get too far into the into the, uh, the growing up aspect of things. Obviously, we're going to touch on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but <clears throat> you have some, in- some interesting family members. Mm hmm. That's been in the industry for some time. Yeah. Right. And obviously everybody in the audience knows mm-hmm. your origin of shit. But me personally, we never had the conversation. Mm-hmm. It's just hearsay. Like mm-hmm. so what's that what was that like growing up? Um <clears throat> you know, you you don't really understand the uh the severity of what's going on when you're young. You know what I mean? I just knew that my brothers was these niggas had a different car every month. It seemed like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, all right, I don't know what's going on, but I want that. Right. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, as you start getting older, you start, you know, realizing, okay, music thing, this is what they trying to do. And then, you know, once Reasonable Doubt came out, at that time, you know, Jake, it's funny because I just had this conversation. At that time, I remember a lot of my 
peoples around me, they didn't even know who Jay was when Reasonable Doubt first first came out. Mm. Like I used to say, yeah, my brothers, you know, they got a label, Rockefeller, you know, Jay Z, da da da. Niggas ain't know what I was talking about really. It's just like, oh, I don't know who was that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, all right, you know, whatever, whatever. Because that's family. I'm trying to mm -hmm. make sure everybody know everybody the name. Know what's going on? Right. Um, right. And then you know things started yeah. to take off after uh, was that Volume Two came out? No, Volume One. Was it Volume One? Hard Knock Life is Volume. Knock, yep, Hard Knock Life. No, Hard Knock Volume Two. Volume, volume Two. And so after that, that's when life. everybody, that's when Jay became a household name. But you know, I, I, for a long time, I strayed away from it. I never really liked to talk about who my brothers were and what they was doing um, because I, I, you know, I always had this thing where I was. It's stupid now when I think back because mm -hmm. I absolutely should embrace that early. And um, use that to kind of mold my upbringing. But you know, I like I like the fact that I, I decided to go a, di a different route. Like I strayed away from the industry shit. Like I never I never worked at Rockefeller. Never had a job. Never got a mm. check. Nothing. Like I never was in any videos. Like I when I say I really strayed away and went the opposite way and tried to like develop my own identity. Like I did that shit for real. Like I used to get mad when people found out who my brothers were. Cause I used to always, like, you know, in the hood, you start thinking like, you know, niggas might try to line me and right, miss right, that, right. And, you know. So I used to just look at niggas like, nah, you know what I mean? Like I don't know what you're talking about. And then you know, as you get older, it is what it is. It's like, all right, man, whatever. But I, for a long time, I definitely tried to stray away from that. I didn't really talk about it. Um, I used to, you know, it's weird. I used to go to the studio, hang out with them. And then get on the D train and go back up, up town to you the Bronx like nothing ever happened. Like, you know <laughs> I heard what I mean? You. I used to get dropped off. I heard off, you. Real you know, New York from, shit. Yeah, coming from yeah. the Hamptons, a weekend in the Hamptons, and get dropped off on the block. And, you know, my homies ain't know nothing about where I was at. I was just playing softball. How you keep that cool, nigga? Because for me, it was it was family. It's like, you. it's I, nothing yeah. to really talk. It's kind of like, well, I'm going to say I was with my brothers. Like, yeah, balling, brother, right? nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> with my see, brothers balling in Hamptons. Fuck y'all yeah, niggas know but about it, that. You know, but it was just, it was kind of like, I, I like the fact that, you know, that was my family and that's what they was doing. And then I got my homies over here and this is our relationship and our our day-to-day -day life shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was cool, though, man. I had a lot of fun. I was exposed to a lot early. I think that helped in my decision making a lot too, because I was able to see so many things from behind the scenes. And um, you know, growing up, sometimes it's easy to get pulled into bullshit. But I learned early, that, man, that like you know, I was only willing to go but so far with the like, the street shit. You know what I'm saying? Like once it got to a point where it was like you talking about my freedom or my life, like I'm not gambling with that. Heard right. You. you know what I'm saying? If you tell me like this is what I'm gambling with, your freedom or your life. I'm gonna just step away from that. I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna find another way to get to it. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no women in jail. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And, and so I was just, you know, I always like being around the cute girls, man. Mm -hmm. Did you go to college? Nah. I wish I did though for the social experience. I, and it's funny because I, I got a lot of friends and family that went to college. So I used to be on campuses a lot. Me too. I like, was one I, of those. A lot niggas. of my family went to uh, Virginia State. Mm. And um, I used to go down to Petersburg and be down there like every weekend. Like to the point where people thought I was going to school there. Like I had a lunchroom card and everything. Like I was really on campus, you know what I'm saying? Like I was really going to the VA's best to get something to eat and all of that. You know, get a get a Philly cheese steak. Like Word. I was really living Word. that. But that, that's what I I wish I went to school for. Just the social experience the social of living experience. on campus, waking up, going to classes, right. hanging out in certain parts of the campus. You know, rapping, listening to music, that type of thing. Because you. You start to meet people from different parts of the, the country and realize, damn, we are, we got a lot of similarities. We just from different areas, you know what I mean. And our common language is hip hop and is the Facts. culture. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of hip hop, you never wanted to rap. Yeah, but I learned early. I was trash. <laughs> I was trash though. Like you know what I mean. I wrote a couple bars, man. I read that shit back. Started trying to catch a flow. I was like, this shit ain't gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> that fast? Yeah, yeah. I was. I might. I was a rapper for like. I want to say like two months, man. Two months? Two yeah, months. Two that's months. A, that's I battled, a nah, I battled a nigga. That's a summer. I think that's I battled a, a nigga at a baby shower in Edenwald one time. <laughs> Edenwald? Edenwald Project? Yeah. I got a baby shower Shout in Edenwald. Me and a nigga, me and a nigga battled. Yeah. yeah, I was young. I was like probably 15 at the time, 16. But I remember that. But that, yeah, after that, it was kind of like, man, this shit ain't going to work. That's hilarious. Because you know, for, for a nigga like you that was around it, it would have been very easy. To be exposed oh, into that shit, bro. Listen, like, been a layup. Listen, it, it's a good thing I was born when I was born. You know what I mean? Like, cause if I was born, like, I don't blame these young cats now for trying to get into music and and rap because it's it's, it's literally at your fingertips. You know what literally. I'm saying? Like, you could upload this shit from right here. 
and this should take off and you'll be on stage in two months performing in front of you know five thousand people facts you know what i'm saying so you know back then you know what you had to hang out in front of the building downtown and hope that jay stopped mm-hmm. and said what's up to mm-hmm. you walking in or before the internet i talk about well, that shit yeah all you know what i mean time, like you had to really be outside like really hitting the pavement to be heard back in you know the 90s and the early 2000s like you really had to be moving around but uh, I like the fact that technology has made it to where a lot of these artists are able to get their art out quicker and faster and, and, and more widespread now. But it also leaves a lot of room for bullshit at the same time. Yeah, you think it's you know saturated? I mean? Yeah, it's definitely, excuse me, it's definitely oversaturated. But, you know, if you if you know if you know the, 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 the good shit, the art, and you, you know how to spot it, it's almost like a candy shop because you can see it a mile away now. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't even know how some people don't be knowing when dudes is gonna be hot. I'm like, bro, you don't hear this kid, man. Like this did like I told dudes about Kodak Black. I don't I mean years ago. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, this kid is super young. He really talking that talk. He doing all of these songs, these hooks, these melodies himself. He wasn't really doing songs with a lot of people like that. But you know, a lot of New York dudes was like, you know, we sunned the South for a long time. I, I ain't going to get into that. But you you said you used to go to college. and I mean, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Go down there and visit. You. Was you listening to South music down there? I was I was listening so to anything, bro. Yeah. yeah, I was listening to anything. You got family bro. living in the South, right? Yeah, I got yeah. family in the South. Um, I was listening to anything, though. Anything that I thought was dope. I, I didn't. It didn't matter where you was from. Like, when I used to watch, uh, you know, a lot of the video shows back in the day, Video music box or whatever it was on BT, like I didn't really care where these dudes was from. I was like, this shit is hard. Like facts, I remember facts. Crucial Conflict. Crucial I didn't Conflict. Care that they were from the Midwest. Way I said these niggas is dope. The middle you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you remember like, them niggas? I didn't care about where they was from. I was just like, mm-hmm. turn that on. Like play that. That's you know a what fact. Mean? So it don't. It doesn't really matter to me about where dudes are from and all. Like I said, I, I, we all speak hip hop. You know what I'm saying? We that's a fact. That, 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 that's this nigga really laid back like that, though. Nah, it's like, my nigga. Like, like, I told, I told life, you. Though, you know how you look at a nigga? <laughs> like, that nigga really like that. <laughs> this is me, man. I, I tell people all the time. You know, because people like to give me shit like, oh, you, you be acting too cool. I'm like, what does that mean? I'm acting too nah, cool. Nah, you ain't not. Like, this nigga really like that. Anybody that knows nah, me really knows like this that. is me, man. Like, nah. I don't, I've don't. i never been loud, obnoxious. Yeah. I've never been that type that's of person, me. man. Like, yeah. yeah I, not obnoxious, but, you know. Yeah, I've never been that. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I already see the synergy that y'all got. I see why this is working. I get it now. Now I understand. Now that I'm seeing them in the room. I respect you saying it's yeah, working, I my brother. Yo, know, it's working. Thank you. I get it. I definitely I appreciate get it. You need that. It's called balance. You know that what I'm saying? That nigga that shit come to him, boy. Yo, yeah. pause. Yo, that was crazy. Nice, cool, cool, cool. Where did you see your life going, though? Because um, you sound like you was just a laid back dude just letting shit like. Yeah, you know man. Because I, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't afraid to, to just try shit, man. Like, right, you know, me too. Yeah. I had a lot of, lot of friends that, you know, Play professional sports, so you know I was trying to get into that world of sports marketing. But how management. though, bro? Well, just helping helping my my homies with their brands off the court, off the field. Like, you know, if they was into anything, we'd go at these companies and try to get these deals done, and try to create out again, creating our own stories, our own narratives, controlling our narratives. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't need an agent to represent us all the way like you know go through the paperwork you know if we if, if, if somebody say i want 100 million go the agent's job is to go get it right but our job is to attach ourselves to our lifestyle and the things that we do naturally away from our sport or our, our jobs you know what i mean so i was just trying to help my homies with that and um you know it, it's just that that world is a little different it's they it's they do they they do their best to keep you out of that world like if mm-hmm. you're not on the inside and you're not one of the guys hmm. you know it's a lot of it's a lot of hoops and and, and shit you got to jump through the um to do that and looking back you know a lot of the niggas that i was fucking with they just you know they probably didn't even want that for me right. being honest they probably you know niggas be threatened by a niggas charisma and shit like That's that fact. You how know, did really? you beat these nba niggas? uh a lot of it was like just traveling going to like you know aau tournaments mm. young uh meeting dudes and then you know working in, in in different areas of the industry as far as clothing you know always making sure dudes was fresh getting close to niggas like that and just developing relationships organically. Fashion nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, like just developing those again on my own. I wasn't using no code signs and no nothing like that. Like I told uh Rory the other day on the show, I was like, yo, I ain't got no big homie. I got brothers, I got older brothers. Mm-hmm. As far as that big homie shit, I ain't got no big homies. That's like I, I did shit on my own, bro. Like I definitely because I learned young that a lot of the shit, you know, that we put in the hood as far as the big homie and the OGs, the OGs be suckers too though. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's the shit that a lot of niggas don't talk about. Raising OGs a be bunch suckers. of suckers. Yeah, OGs be suckers. OGs be clowns. OGs be snitches. You know what I'm saying? So I just was always taught to think for myself, man. 
That's and make my own decision. Because when you when they slam that cell behind you, you got to be the one that was like, okay, that was my decision that I made, and that's why I'm in here. So, just I always tell these young dudes now, man. You know, I get it. I don't like to really preach to these young dudes because they're gonna have to go through it and learn on their own. But you definitely should, you know, just know a lot of the shit that you think is 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 advice and game is bullshit. That's a lot of that shit is bullshit. What what motivates more? Uh. Just creating something different, something new, man. Something right. that hasn't doing something that people think you can't do. Uh, you know, when people think that you're not educated enough or, you know, you're not talented enough to do something. I like that. Because, you know what I'm saying, when you do it and it happens, it's like, you yeah. may not speak to those people again, but they see you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, you know, just, just show people, like, we all got a talent. We all got skill sets. You know what I'm saying? We just got to tap into it and put in them 10,000 hours. You know what I'm saying? And, and once you do that... You're going to land on your feet. You're going to land right where you're supposed to be, man. And I said, you know, a lot of dudes think that shit happens overnight. And I tell them, I'm like, I don't want nothing that's overnight except for some sneakers in the mail. You know what I'm saying? You. That's about it. You. you know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, longevity and shit, I like, the, I like the journey. I like the experience, man. So we can have them stories when we sitting in the back of the house, you know, eating fruit, you know, pretty girls swimming and shit, tanning and shit like that. We can have them conversations. I talk that. this shit more. That's the type know? of shit I fuck with. Yeah, right man. So I don't like to be around women, man. I don't like being around a bunch of niggas, man. Never did. Oh, man. It's my nigga. It's very unflattering being around a bunch of niggas. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I don't like that. It's just because, you know, the niggas, you know, I, I, love, I like when I see niggas like, this, these the homies, this the team. And I'll be wanting to say so bad, man, a lot of these niggas ain't going to be there when it's over. They mm. not going to be standing there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas you think is your niggas. These niggas, your niggas be hating. Niggas talk, be talk, niggas, talk your shit, mom. I'm not real talk. Niggas just, you know, it's, it's, it's like it's a learning thing. But, uh, you know, you got to be able to spot it. Like, you know, I, I look at it now and I'm just like, you know, every every opportunity or situation I was in where somebody could have, you know, put me in position to just do my thing. Not even like really put me on, just put me in a room and then let me do what I do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a lot of times you sit back and you think it's like these people didn't put me in that position because they didn't want to see me in that position. You know what I'm saying? It was threatened by me. They like once he get on and once he get in the room, like my position is in jeopardy. Mm. Cause he's really a sucker, you know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, like you really got lucky, mm. you know what I mean? It snuck in, but then once somebody's in the room that is really from that and cut like that and, and built like that and you know stands on integrity, feel it. oh yeah, they mm. get intimidated by that shit, man. Like you know when somebody see you, like you say some shit like, yo, listen, I don't fuck with snitching. Though. You know niggas in the room get uncomfortable when niggas say that type nice. of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that they on the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. They you that's you that's who they you talking about. You that's talking about fact. them and they don't mm -hmm. they like damn do he see me? The shoe fit. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Do he? Fit. I wonder if he see me yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you just got to be able to to point that out early. And I was I was I was blessed to have certain individuals in my life that gave me that and gave me that you know that skill to to think for myself and watch you, you know, watch who you put around you. Like, everybody ain't got your best interest at heart. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever see yourself a potter? Being a potter? Hell no, nigga. I hate talking. It's funny you <laughs> asked the question that I was, that's, you're doing, you're doing amazing. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. No, 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 no. You're Yo, doing no, no, amazing. I'm going to keep it 100, though, Nah, this, you know. this is, this is one of your, this is one you, of your you, goat you, episodes. I ain't got nothing to you, say. You know that. Nah, nah, I respect it. This you know is my nigga. So I, it's Because I'm one of them niggas, bro, I hate niggas. Because you know, we come from the culture where niggas, Niggas dick suckers, nigga dick ride. Yeah. When you show love to a nigga and right. you like show and salute a nigga, you a dick sucker, bro. Like, yeah, that's fuck insecurity niggas, talking, bro. though. Fuck niggas, bro. Yeah. I fuck with you, bro. Appreciate you know that, what man. Saying? Yeah. Like, I, I watch. Go ahead, man. Nah, he we, watches we, it all the time. Give you a he he, he watches it all the time. I, nigga, bro. look, let me say this. Like, again, like, even being a in the space I don't even like calling myself a potter because y'all niggas is like you a thousand one, episodes in mm -hmm. right we only like 50 something yeah you're a conversationalist so I'm a conversationalist yeah. for, yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. like the second yeah. right so I love having these conversations with, with guys like yourself because it's where we want to be mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. even <clears throat> even though I'm on a whole nother spectrum on the rap side of things mm -hmm. I'm brand new here yeah Right, so it's like being but a you really not artist though. all over again. Because you, this is how you got to think about it, right? You, we, we all sit around with our crew and, and people that's in our circle, and we all have these conversations. You just recording it now. Mm. And then you're already a recording artist. Mm. So you're really mm. not new to this space. You just ain't got no beat on right now. Mm. Yeah, because it'd be a little weird to me, because i just be like, I'm find just it, talking. Finding shit to talk yeah. about with this nigga. Nah, because but let don't me try to find it. Man. I don't let be, it come. You let feel pause, me? And, that, and yeah. that's just what it be. Because yeah. I'm like, 
the niggas that I like to listen to, they not gossiping. Mm -hmm. I don't like shade room talk. Yeah. Right, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like, if it's some shit we can laugh at, yeah. then I'm down to we'll laugh, laugh at all it. the time. You know I mean? I'm yeah. even down to... <laughs> For you to bring up the topic that you know I'm going to shit on just so I can shit on it. Yeah. Because it's funny. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But to build the whole platform around that, I'm like, mm -hmm. I got to give game. Yeah. Because if when I'm when I'm rapping on a beat, I'm giving game, That's but right. I got to make it rhyme. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I don't got to make it rhyme. Right. I could just, right? <laughs> yeah, I could yeah, just, just give game yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, it's either you take it or you don't. Yeah. But, but getting into the podcast, like he, that was a great question mm -hmm. which you asked, like, did you ever see yourself as a podcaster? Um, nah, like I, you know, anybody that know me, I'm super laid back. I don't really, I talk to my people, my circle. I'm not, I never been loud, you know what I mean? So the fact that now I talk for a, a, a living or lifestyle is, is funny. It's, it's like, hilarious. It's just letting you know <laughs> you could plan and you could say, yo, this is what I do and that, but you just never know what life is going to hand you, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, when I started, I had a podcast years ago that I was doing, um, it's funny. It was up actually at Sirius XM. Up at Sirius, we was recording up there. We used to do it every Sunday, and it was it was a group of us, maybe like four or five of us. And um, you know, back then it's probably like 2011, 2012, maybe. It's it was hard to get you know people to agree to do something for free every Sunday. The games is on, you know. Everybody tired, mm -hmm. you know. You know, Sundays just feel like a relaxed day anyway. Mm -hmm. So telling somebody to come to Midtown to Sirius to record for an hour, two hours, and they not getting paid. You know, it's fun, but then it's like, when you start, like, yo, fam, I ain't, I ain't leaving the house today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, every week started to pass, and then, you know, one week this person can't make it. Next week, this per these two people can't make it. And then, uh, a guy that was doing, he was basically the uh, producer up there, one week, and it was me by myself, and I was like, well, I, you know, I can't record by myself. And he was like, yo, you know you could actually do this by yourself. He was like, you just have that. Like, you can naturally just, you know, have a conversation. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, I'm, I still didn't get it. I didn't understand what was happening with the podcasting. I just didn't see the, the future in it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I thought, it was like, okay, cool. We can talk shit, have a conversation, and upload it to SoundCloud, whatever. Cool. And then I had went away and was working with a friend of mine at the time. He was in the NBA, so, you know, I was helping him and shit and working with him. And then he had got traded back to the Knicks. Mm. So we... I, I was back home. I was back in the city. And that's when Rory and homie called me and was like, yo, you know, we want you to be a guest on the show. And mm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll come kick it with y'all and all that. So went, kicked it. Everybody loved the episode. You know, it was one of the best ones they said. It was like the response was amazing. Facts. And then uh, the next week came and they called me again like, yo, what's up? You, you free to record tomorrow? Like, I was like, yeah, I'll come kick it. And then that, and then after that, that's when the conversation started of, yo, we could really, if we really lock in and build this shit, we could really do something special here. Like, so it was just all about, you know, was I willing to lock in and really dedicate the time and, 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 and build that. And, you know, it was a simple conversation. I was like, you know what? All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. Let's build it. Let's create something here. Let's push it. And uh, ultimately we did. And, you know, we ended up creating a lane for a lot of other podcasts and just showing people that, yo, it's possible. Facts. Word. You know, if nothing else, it's possible. Sometimes you got to be the first one to go through the door to be like, yo, it's lit in here. Nigga, come on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so that's what we did. And um, it was special. We had we had some good times on there, man. But, you know, unfortunately, you know, egos and things got in the way. And Well, not egos. And ego got in the way. And, mm -hmm. you know, it caused that whole demise. But, you know, there's, you know, Today, I'm in a better space with that mentally, you know what I'm saying? But a few months ago, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I was in a different place. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I can't be, you know, now looking back at where we are, with Rory and myself stand today and where we are and what we built today and what we have, you know, coming down the pipeline. It had to happen. It had to happen, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And in all, in all reality, it's like, you know, I always knew homie was, you know, what type of time he was on, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I saw things coming up with him. And it was just like, I wouldn't move like that. That ain't even, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, why would you do that? You ain't, that's unnecessary. So it's, it, was, it was destined to happen, is what I'm saying, because it was always there. It was always, you know, hints of things happening. And it was just like, it, I was just mad at the fact that it was like, damn, like we really got something though. Mm. But, you know, again, everything happened for a reason. Life is beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed, you know, and 
I can't, I can't. There's no second guessing what happened to me. Nah, nah. That's why today I'm in a better space mentally. You know what I'm saying? Months ago though, it was, it was dark. Mm. It was real dark. See, but I always knew y'all was going to spin out on top of of the situation. Mm. Everybody, all parties, it was going to work for Mm -hmm. because you know you guys got your own identities, Mm -hmm. so it was easy. To just go do your own thing, Y'all but like but see that's Nash. but see smoke it, that was that's the thing though, and that was one of the things that bothered me when the when the, the separation happened was certain things that was being said, you mm-hmm. know, it was like, nah, they can't do that, and you know, oh, they gonna fall on their face, you know, and I'm just like, you said that, listen, man, you know, I. Things that was being said. Things that, that it was Whoever. things that allegedly, was said. Whoever, allegedly, Whoever. Nah, it's was no, just if being I'm said. Here, it's no alleged. I'm yeah, telling you straight right. from Ooh. the. These are things mm-hmm. that was said. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And you can run the tapes back. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. that's what it was for me. It was like, it's like that, homie. You know me though. Like we ain't gotta. We don't got. It don't gotta go that route. You know what I'm saying? We don't gotta lie and fabricate to the people. Just say what it is because once you give it to the people as what it is and let them dissect it. They'll know, you know what I mean, and it's like I said, you could just do the. It's all on audio. Do the track. Do the. Do you feel the, like he was trying to violate your character. He he, but he know he can't, man. Because if you know our relationship, right, you know it's. He can't violate my character. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like. That's why I didn't understand things that was being said because it's like oh, it's cool. Business is over, obviously, right? That's all right. That's fine. It happens, but don't turn it into something else. Don't right. turn it into some fake, you know. Soap opera shit, you know what I'm saying? I never want to be a part of that. Like I don't, I'm not mad at things falling out and you know falling apart, as long as it's it's real, you know what I'm saying? And and that's what I wanted it to be. And it's like, yo, but just tell the people what really happened. But mm-hmm. then we didn't even have to tell the people because the people started compilating the videos and putting things together that was being said and da 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 <laughs> things we were saying like, oh, and it's like anybody that know me know I'm not falling out with no homies over no paper mm-hmm. like. That's not even my. I'm not from that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, look at the look at the videotape. The footage is nah, there. Nah, I mean we we we. I, I see I seen plenty of mashups. You know what I'm yeah, the, the videos, footage is there. It's like I'm not. So it was over money. It was over. It, ultimately, it money was the issue, but it wasn't the issue. When I say that, meaning like, money was was taken from Rory and myself. It mm. just is what it is. Like it is no. We ain't got to act like money was taken. Rory and I, myself, we knew that, hmm. but we homies, so we not. I'm not even tripping. I'm just like, bro, we gonna we gonna get it right. We gonna fix it. Don't worry about that. Let's just keep doing what we doing. But it gets to a point where, as a man, you like, all right, dog, I'm not stupid, and I can't sit here and, and keep acting like I'm stupid, like because now I don't even want to be in this room. Hmm. So we started having conversations, like, yo, bro, let's just make it right. And then again, when you approach people that's doing wrong, they get defensive. And then when they have an ego attached to that, it's like a, a combination for just a bad, you know, situation. So it's like you can't be wrong and loud. Mm-hmm. The wrong you wrong, you gotta be humble. You gotta be quiet. You gotta mm-hmm. tuck your tail a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be wrong and start pounding on your chest. Like, mm-hmm. cause now we looking at you like, yo, what's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it was just in that sense it was unfortunate that it had to happen like that. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And we tried to, Rory and myself dealt with it for a couple of years, bro. Like, we, this wasn't just an overnight thing. This was, like, two years. But I have to ask a question. You know, <laughs> man, like, do you agree that it's his business? No. Because we signed a contract before there was any, any business okay. at all. Okay. When we was building it, we agreed on a percentage. And it's just, and actually, looking back, Rory and myself, we shouldn't have... Our lawyer said we shouldn't have took that deal. They was like, you shouldn't sign this contract. Mm. Our lawyer said, we was like, nah, man, don't worry about it. We're we're signing. Separate lawyers? Well, Rory and myself had the same lawyer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, yo, this ain't, like, I wouldn't do it if I was y'all. Like, is this your friend? Because this is not a contract that a friend would put on the table Mm. for his friends. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, we building something. Fuck it, let's do it. You know what I mean? But in that, you know, it's like I think I don't think that he expected us to get the check that we got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then now, you know, you got you you know, just let's just be real, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna give this to you because this is your platform and you my guy. Just look at it like you had an artist that was, you know, chasing a certain level of fame and success through music. 
wasn't able to really get to where he felt like maybe, you know, because you know how it is. Niggas got egos and feel like I'm better than that nigga. I should be more popping than that nigga. I rap better than him. I, but you was never really quite able to get there. So you got there and you started getting invited into these rooms with these people that you looked up to through podcasting. But you got your homies with you. So it's not just you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, no, this is us. We built this, bro. Like, we actually serve as the buffer to the shit that a lot of people don't even like you and don't really like talking to you. But we make it kind of easy for them too because we in the room and it's you know it's just it was a great mix. Niggas ain't really fuck with you and that's documented. We ain't got to go through that. Niggas ain't really fuck with you, but through the podcast shit and with me and Rory, it kind of made it an easier conversation because you got mm-hmm. two niggas next to you that's. All right, his ego is crazy. He be out, he out was the, always the blogging wall. though, not to cut you off. No, though. yeah, no, he was definitely doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. that. I'm not. I don't take. You was nothing around away from for him. that. You was around. I don't for that. take nothing yeah. away from him at you all. Was around for that. I'm yeah. just saying what we did, did together. Mm-hmm. And then before any business came to the table, we had a, a contract and agreement on percentages with each other. Right. Before right, right. any check came I through un- the door. I understand. You understand what I'm saying? This is before any money was involved. Like we had a conversation, us three, and was like, "Yo, this is what we doing." Take this percentage, like our lawyer was like, "Yo, are y'all getting robbed?" Straight up, she told. She was like, right, "Y'all getting robbed? Like, there's no other co-host that this ain't even a real co-host percentage, right here." You know what I'm saying? But we was like, "Yo, don't worry about it," because we homies, or so we thought. I'm not gonna let business stop us from doing some right. groundbreaking shit. Nah, I'll take the L on that because I know whatever's for me is gonna be for me anyway. You know, clearly, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I wasn't even. I was like, "Don't worry about it, man. Like, let's just keep it going. Let's push." You know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. We agreed to that. So once we locked in at this number, it's like it don't matter if it's a hundred million or a hundred dollars. Like That's we gotta number. get that percentage of that of that check. Right. <clears throat> so like I said, when you was chasing something as a, you know, in your other career for so many years, but you never really attained that. But now you're able to have these conversations with these artists that don't really like you, but they'll talk to you as a podcaster. They'll never give you a verse, but they'll talk to you as a podcaster. Hmm. These executives that would never talk to you as an artist. But they'll talk to you as a podcaster because you have a show and you have something here with your homies that people is like, okay, I like this. I like this energy they got. I like this chemistry they got. These conversations. Cool. But again, the ego was like, and I can imagine if I'm an artist at one point in my career and I know this artist wouldn't talk to me and now this artist wants to talk to me. Like I would still look at them type of way. Like I asked this nigga for a verse 10 years ago. He never gave it to me. Hmm. But he is hitting my phone because he got an album coming out and he want to sit on my platform and talk about it. So I understand where the ego, you know what I'm saying, as men, but part of being a man is being able to control your emotions. You see what mm. I'm saying? And control your ego. We all got ego. That's a fact. I got you a mean, dick too, I'm, nigga. I'm, I'm, you know I'm what I'm saying? Like, got nuts too. I'm yeah. dealing with it right now. My, yeah, my, yeah my always chick, dealing with it, nigga. My yeah. chick curved. I don't give a fuck about you or my ego. I'm, t- <laughs> I'm talking about my chick. I'm talking yeah. about shit like that. We all, but we all do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's Not like, facts, I don't let that shit get in the way of my relationship with my homies. That's corny. I'm not going to put my ego on my homies. Like, I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So we had a situation where, like I said, we had an agreement and we stuck to that. Mm-hmm. I, we don't have nothing else to talk about because we got we already got an agreement with each other on percentages. So I'm like, nigga, I ain't tripping. Like, I, we are, I know what we got in paper, on in ink, in ink. You know what I'm saying? Signed. Like, lawyer there, everything. It's legit. So it's like, I'm not even, whatever. If you tell me, yo, they just gave us a check for... 500 grand i'm like i bet i know what i'm i know what percentage i'm getting from that right so i'm not even i don't need to we don't need to see the exact numbers or accounting because it's like that's we that's, homies bro i'm not ever gonna be like yo let me see the accounting with my man you know what i'm saying I, like i understand business is business but you know it's also like yo but bro before business it's like nigga, you my man right, like, right, I don't, right, you know what i'm saying right. like i don't give a fuck about none of this shit. like you my man dog if this shit fall down tomorrow we still gonna go get something to eat and talk shit together like so what are we really talking about? You know what I mean? But like I said, I understand where egos became inflated. And, you know, like I said, you, you chasing something your whole life and you finally get it. It's hard to kind of share it with motherfuckers that you feel like didn't suffer some of that, those d- d- depressing nights with you. and You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I understand. But it's like, fam, we already have this agreement. No matter, <laughs> and, and you the one that drew it up. Uh-huh. Hmm. T- t- see, that's the crazy part about it. You the one that drew it up, and you you don't want to honor it. It's like, all right, fam. Like, what you want us to do at this point? We it was a bo- it was a bogus deal that we shouldn't have signed. First of all, hmm. we got a bullshit percentage, and now you don't even want to give us the fair end on, on the percentage that you drew up. Like, 
enough is enough, bro. I'm a man at the end of the day. Like, what you doing? Like, now you just trying to you spin me. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, sure. I can't let that happen, bro. Like, I just... It was too many people in my corner that was looking at me like, yo, you would have been cut homie off. Like, like what you doing? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, all right, let me have the conversation. And that's when the conversation started happening. And, mm-hmm. we, you know, Roy and myself, we just knew what it was. And it was like, you know where this is headed. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I'm like, yeah, I really As a fan, I was watching and I knew what it was. Yeah, I, because I, was, I didn't even want to see it happen. Mm, as nobody, a fan, nobody right? did. Because, we didn't want to see it happen. Like I said, yeah. we was dealing with that. We, we put it on the back burner for two years, bro. Hmm. We was asking to see, you know, the the logistics of the business and, and the accounting for almost two years, hmm. and we tried everything, man, because we didn't, you know, what I'm saying, like I said, that was that was fam at one point, you know, he that was my like me and we, we lived together, together. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, like me and this uh. nigga lived together, like, so it's like, bro, like I got you out of serious situations. We in Sin City, niggas is ready to bomb on you, hmm. and hmm. I'm in front line, and you know, what I'm saying, like your whole chill, like. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm jumping out there. I could have got my shit ripped and all kind of shit fucking with you, but you my man, so I'm not gonna let it go down like that. Hmm. So when we talk about business now, and you start doing sucking shit, I'm looking at you like, bro, you know this is me. Like, what you doing? Mm-hmm. I feel. Yeah. I don't care about none of this shit enough to do no sucking shit to my friends. Like I'm not doing sucking shit to my friends, bro. Oh, and no. yeah, you know he, you know I seen him say shit. Oh, don't tell me who my friend. So maybe he don't feel like we was friends. But he can't never say I wasn't a friend to him. Mm. It's documented what I did for you, bro. Mm. Niggas, anybody that was around you back, they know, like, nigga, nah, Marley, nah, bro. That, that's your man. Like, the niggas that called me when that whole shit happened, they was like, bro, like, I never thought that that would happen. And I'm just mm. like, nigga, you, like, right. I tried to avoid it. Mm. You know I what I mean? I hate to say to him. Nah, because look. We all have awkward conversations. You can have awkward friend conversations, right? <laughs> you need to. Because you need to mm-hmm. in order to get past it. Mm-hmm. Even awkward, me and these niggas always have awkward mm-hmm. conversations. You need just, to, bro. But see, what happens is after our awkward conversations, we still come back here. Right. And you right? build. So that's, and yeah. we're building off the awkward conversation. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, man. You know why it's awkward, man? Because we all thinking it. You know what I'm saying? And we all thinking it. It's just that somebody actually said it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what happens a lot. With friends, you know, we all kind of thinking the same shit. That's why we friends. We, we kind of think alike. We got similarities and shit and point of views. But I just think with us, you know, when the money came into play, you know, it was more money than any of us ever seen. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I think, you know, that kind of became a little, that's where the, the relationship was tested. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like they say, you know, you want to know who your friends are, put a bunch of money on the table and just sit there. Mm-hmm. Everything going to be revealed. You know what I'm saying? A nigga gonna show you how much he think you worth. A nigga gonna show you what he think about you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of be revealed. And that's it, it's true. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because, you know, with, with Rory and myself now, we laugh at the way that we have some of these negotiations and these deals. It's like, bro, this is the easiest shit in the world when two niggas just totally get it and on the same type of shit mentally and then as far as morals and integrity. Like, me and Rory don't have no contract with each other. Huh. We got a handshake, handshake. And, and we got an LLC together. Old school. That's it. You know what I'm saying? He called me, yo, they want to do this, da, 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 what you think? I'm like, uh, I'm like, yo, if you want to do it, I'm rocking with you. Let's go. If you don't want to do it, fuck them. It ain't no long, you know what I'm saying? So when niggas try to put all that bullshit in the game, it takes time. It's, niggas just don't want to do it, bro. Mm. Niggas be putting a lot of bullshit in the game and... Oh, yo, that nigga, he ain't call you. He called you back, nigga. Cut it out, man. Like, what's going on? Because y'all playing these games. I don't play those mm-hmm. games. Damn, it was all of that going on. Oh, man, it was nasty, bro. It was, like I said, man, there was so much shit going on that, you know, it was unfortunate. But, again, man, looking back to, to where we landed, bro, I'm not, you know, I know why it happened. It had to. You understand? It had to happen. And it's unfortunate because we had some, you know, beautiful. Like, I think we had some dope. I thought we had some. I grew up looking at Video Music Box. Word. I thought what we was doing was just as special to the culture. That's a fact. Absolutely. That's a fact. You know what That's I'm saying? That's a fact. So, so, yeah, that, you know, that bothers me because I think that ego got in the way of, of history. But I know what's on the way now. And I know mm. what's happening now. So, <laughs> I mean, after all of that, I mean, do you still respect Joe for at least... Starting the platform and that, that's the end of the question. I mean, yeah, starting. No. The, I mean, <laughs> I mean, no. you, you you kept it. Kept it real. I don't respect him at all. 
You never shake his hand again. Shake his hands. <laughs> I'll shake the room before I shake his hand, bro. Damn. That's just what it is. I mean, you know, because like I said, it was. It, it's not even about the business or the money. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. So I, I'm. Fr <laughs> it's a lot of money, bro. Mm. That me and Rory walked away from. It's a lot of money that was taken out of our pockets. It's a lot of money that we still to this day we don't have no lawyers going after it. Keep it. We got our own back. But with that, with that money that we walked away from, and with that, you know, what was owed to us that we walked away from, that was also me walking away from a relationship and a chapter of my life that once I walk away, you know, that door never opens again because it takes a lot to get me to that point. So once I'm near, I'm, it's over. You know what I mean? Mm. It's over. And it's just like, like I said, it ain't beef. Like, it ain't, it ain't beef. Like, it, because that was really my friend at one point. So yeah, it's not yeah, beef. I don't it. have beef, bro. Right. I, bro, listen, I don't have beef. I don't have beef with nobody. I always just say I'm not beefing. Out. It's just a fall I'm out. not beefing with nobody black. I always say it, bro. I'm not right. doing it. But, you know, my number ain't changed, but niggas know they can't hit that line. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not changing my number. I got the same numbers for 15 years. Hmm. Certain people just know they can't. They don't have access to me, though. You still got my number, but you don't have access to me. You know it's gonna be awkward if you call my phone. You know it's gonna be awkward if you text me. Like so, people you ain't gonna even do it. So it's like you know, do I respect him? No. Do I think that he's intelligent? Yes. Do I think that he's a, a creative? Yes. Do I think that uh, he's he's done some 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 good things with his life? Absolutely. Do I think as an MC is he is he dope? Yes. As a man, I can't. I, <laughs> I'm just cut different, bro. I, I don't mix with that. You know what I'm saying? I can't fuck with people that move like that. You got to have integrity, bro. If you don't got... you, I fuck with niggas that's, you know, don't have no. I'm talking about they, 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 they hustle for everything. You know, they got a nine to five and, and some other shit they into. You know what I'm saying? And they, you know, but they'll give me the shirt off their back if I ask them. And then I got niggas that's, you know, <laughs> wealthy. That'll do the same, though. So it's like, it's no in-between with me. Like, I don't care about, like I said, it was about money, but it wasn't about money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was more so integrity and, you know, you lying to your friends and you stealing from your friends and then it's just, you know, You felt you got ego. played. Yeah, it's like, yo, why, how you throw your, I just don't understand throwing your ego on your homies. Like, that shit mm. is weird to me, bro. Like, I just, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that, that. I'm just not. I mean, I, I tease these niggas all day. But yeah, that's but that's day, that's what we do as yeah. friends. Like we still, we still, but we ain't yeah. going. You ain't going. Yeah. You know, you ain't going to get a nigga nah, jacket, and then name. when the chicks come in the room, say, "Yo, don't spill nothing on my jacket." Ah. Oh my! See? Nah, 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 that's, nah, nah, that's nah, dirty nah. game. See? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up! I don't even want. He, don't, don't, don't no, no, no! Come on, I'm all talking, bro. We potting. See, we potting. You not no, no. This is your shit. You look. Nah, we potting because nah, bro. I watch these niggas, bro. Every episode. You couldn't wait. I know my nigga. I can talk about this nigga. I know all the views I give these niggas. This nigga owe this shit to me, nigga. I gave. I was a part of that money they was getting, nigga. I was a reason, nigga. I was on the reason. Home, home on the couch, nigga. I was a reason. You know what I'm saying? Fired from the job, nigga. I'm like this, nigga. That nigga Watch said it. I was a reason. Goddamn <laughs> <laughs> right, nigga. Niggas, I'm fired from my job. I'm for real. <laughs> like I was sub I subscribed that, to everything, nigga. I appreciate like that. I was really watching this nah, shit. Nah, like, that ass though, that, bro. Nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lying, so I could even go back to episode. I'm gonna keep it on. Nah, he's talking. So you. It was Charlemagne was on the episode. You know that famous episode, Charlemagne, you and Rory and yeah. and Joe. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne kind of said this was gonna happen, brother. He did. He did. Charlemagne also said something else in that episode too. Mm. He said this shit didn't start popping until Maul came on, right? And you know, if <laughs> looking at how everything happened now. You could just see, you know, certain individuals body language when he said that mm. and how he cut right into a whole different conversation coming off of that. It was kind of like, nah, don't give him that. So, you know what I mean? A lot of things start to, you know, make sense, man. And it's just unfortunate, bro. Cause like I said, I'm never in nothing with my homies for a check. You know, even with me and Rory, like we didn't know what the fuck we was going to do, you know, and we, Rory was, you know, we, we would talk. Every day during that, that split, um, and we was trying to figure out 
if we even wanted to, to do this. We had, you know, offers for to do different shit, a few labels calling, you know, shit like that. But it was kind of like, damn, man, I don't, I don't know, man, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get in this situation. But then you start realizing, like, damn, me and you are more alike than I thought. Hmm. You know, like me and Rory started really kicking it and, and hanging out away from the pod and shit like that. And I was like, damn, he, he's, we have a lot of similarities. You know what I'm saying? We, we arrive at the same point of views. We just, we just go through different channels to get there. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the cultural difference. You know what I'm saying? He from Queens, Irish kid. I'm from Uptown, black kid. Mm -hmm. A little older. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you look back and you like, he just got integrity. He got morals. He say he going to do something, he going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like at the time with the situation unfolding, did it did it make you did it taint your image of doing business with a friend? Nah, man. It didn't take my it didn't take my image of doing business with a friend. It um if anything, it just made me look at my relationships with people a little more intensely and, and stop cuz you know, I I peep sh See, one thing I don't I, I hate about myself but I love is I'm very observant. But sometimes I see shit I wish I didn't see. Quiet mm. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm <laughs> like, because once I see it, it's like, oh, you can't unsee it. Can't yeah, unsee it. It's, it's like, over. Yeah, it's, it's over. like, oh, this nigga's corny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. This is why we brothers <laughs> with God. You know what I mean? Now, my so, nigga, it's, it's hey, the uh, same shit. You can't unsee it after that. It's like, I don't care how yeah. many sneakers you got, how much fresh you got. Word. Once I see you do some corny shit, lame. It's like, oh no, not my hero. Yeah. You know, it's so you start to look at situations and relationships more intensely. That's all when you go through certain shit, man. And, yeah. You know, Rory and I, we just we made a promise to each other that everything they said we wasn't gonna get and everything they said we couldn't do, we was gonna do it. Respect. And then that's just I mean, shout out right to now. Joe too, man. He's still doing good. He dropped his number. I mean, he's doing I mean, good, I mean, but I mean, y'all doing great too, bro. Like Everybody That's just what it is, is, man. You know but but yeah. more positivity in That's there, a right? fact. That's so, a fact. So hold on. So quick little short story. So I remember back being on Spring Street in this studio where Mark Ronson worked out of. Mm -hmm. And um, Red Spider was in that studio as well. Mm -hmm. He was um, doing shit for 50 at the time. And, and Johnny Shipes had a studio space in there too. So I was privy to seeing all of these people walk in and out the studio. Now one, it was a lot of artists, but it was a lot of like <clears throat> moguls uh -huh. in this place. And one of these people was Rich Climbing. Oh yeah. All right. So I remember Rich was, uh, he was doing um, Alito. It was Alito Records with mm -hmm. Mark Ronson. Mm -hmm. And I remember Johnny bought me and my man Numbers, because at the time I was a part of a group, Smoking Numbers. Mm -hmm. He bought us to uh, to Mark Ronson because he really loved this song we had called New York Minute. Mm -hmm. And Rich was in the room, and they gave us the best energy that mm -hmm. we could have ever had for up-and-coming artists mm -hmm. coming up. And to see with the elevation from where he elevated to from there, which ties into... You guys, because don't you guys do business with, with Rich? We, um, so during the split, one of the people that, um, that I was looking at and, you know, the platform that they was building with content and media was, a uh, KD. Hmm. But on um, his 35 Ventures, uh, company. And, um, so, you know, when the split happened, I was just, I was just, you know, analyzing my relationships with people. And, um, I was like, yeah, if we go to Rock Nation, they're going to just assume that that's what was going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so we was trying to just do something different. So I was like, well, if we're going to do something groundbreaking and different, it got, we got to go from the start from the bottom all the way up. So I reached out to KD and I was like, yo, what's up, man? I was like, you know what I'm saying? I need to, we need to get in, get in the room. He was like, what are we doing? Like that was his response. He's like, what are we doing? So then he said, yo, come to the crib. So I went downtown, uh, me and Rory was sitting KD, talked for a few hours and, of course, he wanted to know what happened and everything, you know, because they were still fresh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we had that whole conversation. And then, um, you know, I was like, yo, I like what you're doing with your 35 Ventures shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe we could do something. 
it'd be a look for you, it'd be a look for us, like it'd just be like, you know, we, we just both like building each other at the same time. He loved it, I gave him a bunch of ideas, he was like, damn, that's crazy, that's fire, he's like, hell yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Um, so then he pulled Rich in, and uh, he gave, played the Rich, and you know, we sat down at, at the office, we talked to Rich, Rich didn't know shit, he didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> so we told him, we was like, he said, Katie just is excited, and he said, this is something that he wants to do, you know what I mean? And he, so. We kind of just like, nah, listen, man, just trust us, man. Let us, you know what I mean? And we gon' let us quarterback this, like, you know what I mean? And we gon' we gon' we gonna make some 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 great things happen. And um, you know, we shot the uh the fight video with Rich. So we we, we I loved Rich. It, he didn't know what way. was going on, he didn't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and the day we put the video out, uh, as soon as we dropped it, like 20 minutes later, Rich texts us like, yo, we need to get on the call. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, cause he's so we're like, yeah, like we this is something that you know, we could be big, bro. We just, and this was just something that, you know, that whole video, we, that was freestyle. We didn't write none you of that. You could tell. It was, yeah. a it was hilarious. Yeah, like we, that was straight up like, no script, no nothing, you know what I mean? Let's just, we just gave the scenario and we just colored just in the colored blanks, in. you know what I mean? So we did that. Rich loved it. KD loved it. But I think that, you know, what Rory and myself had in mind just didn't align with what I think Rich and KD is, is doing at the moment. Mm-hmm. And, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Sometimes that happens. It's just that, you know, what we're trying to do doesn't really match what somebody else is trying to do mm. in the moment. And timing is everything. You know what I mean? So it didn't happen as far as, like, we didn't sign anything and we didn't, you know, do anything. But I'm sure we're going to make some things happen in, in the future. But I ended up, uh, I had a conversation with Rich Paul. Mm. Actually, I was in L.A. And, um, and, and Rich Paul hit me. He hit me actually before I got to L.A. And he told me, you know, he had a situation. He was like, yo, I think we can make something happen. He said, next time you're in L.A., let me know. Come to the crib. Like, I want to I wanna talk to you. I was like, all right, bet. So me and Rory had flew to L.A. He had some stuff to do in L.A. I, did, I had some stuff to do. So I ended up going to Rich Paul crib. We sat down. Me and him, his partner, Oren. Uh, 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 they, they work at UTA. Rich is on the chair. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's on the board at UTA. United Talent Agency to, yeah. to the people that don't that, know. That, that don't know. Um, so Rich's conversation was, you know, because <laughs> know, I've known Rich for years. A lot of people don't know that. Like, I've known Rich Paul for years. So he just asked me, he said, what we doing, man? Hmm. And I was like, yo, listen, I think, you know what I mean? Like, we can make something crazy happen. And, um, but I told him I was talking to Kev, to KD. I said, let me see what KD doing. Like, let me see, you know what I mean? And then I'll get back. And then, you know, like I said, that situation didn't really turn out to be what we wanted. So, you know, Rich just texted me one day and it was a very short, but like right to the point statement that he made. And I said, okay. And three weeks later, maybe two weeks later, we was on a Zoom call with the entire UTA CEO, everybody. And, you know, Rich was like, listen, man, this is my family and we want to make something happen. And then a month later, we had our deal signed. Powerful shit. I, I love I love when the story mm -hmm. fucking pans out, you know what I mean? Like, and that I, was based off just, <clears throat> like I said, an organic relationship to me and Rich. I've known Rich Paul for over 15 years. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So... It was like, that was something that is just life is full circle. Hmm. You know what I mean? Now he's on the board of UTA. Like, it don't get much better than that. That's you know crazy. what I mean? Like, and this is my, this is my guy. I can call him, I can FaceTime him anytime of night and be like, yo, I need this. And it's done. You know what I mean? Hmm. So, but it just, it just, and then Rich just gets it. He's one of those dudes that hustler, man. He just, he knows how to, you know what I mean? It's like, I get it. I know what we need to do. I know what needs to happen. Like, no unnecessary conversations. Either we're going to do it or we're not. And that's basically what he said. You say, yo, either we gonna make history or we not, and we end up making history, man. So that's a great way to to segue and make it some history. Look, we gonna make history or not? Yeah, that's how that's how Jordan and Kobe was approaching <laughs> niggas. How I look at it, like, look, we we, we gonna do this or not? Yeah, man. You know why? Because we overthink shit, bro. We overthink a lot of the times, and we end up wasting time because we think everything is supposed to be perfect, mm -hmm. and that's not real. Nothing is perfect. You know what I mean? Nothing. Everything is gonna be flawed. Everything is going have an issue, it's gonna be a hiccup along the road. Your job is to just learn from that and apply it moving forward so you don't hit that pothole again. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna only hit the pothole on the west side one time before you know I, right, mm -hmm. right here after 79th Street, getting in the left lane. I'm not hitting that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same with life. You go through things and, all right, I know not to, can't fuck with him no more. You know what I mean? Definitely mm -hmm. not fucking with them. You know what I mean? And you start moving differently and that's when different things start happening for you, man. And, and sometimes, like, like I said, it's, It'd be things now that 
we wake up to an email and I'm like, how does this person even know who I am? Mm. Like, I think, like, Kevin Hart was one of the first people that hit me. <laughs> He's starting right crazy. now. He's starting right now. I love shit. Yeah, like, that's all of That's all of them. But it's crazy. I'm calling that's, that's all of That's a full circle yeah. moment with Kev, too, because Kev was in Paper Soldiers mm -hmm. and Dame executive oh, produced that. Yeah, yeah, that that, that was rocking. You moment. understand what I'm saying? So it's crazy. it's crazy how life goes. Like, look where Kev is at in his life now. Look where Rich Paul is at in his life right now. You know what I mean? So Look, it's we're like, more in his life right now, bro. Okay, that sounds good to me too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's facts. Nigga. It's just it's just part of it. But uh, but uh, the the main thing in in all of that is it's all men that have the same type of integrity and morals that are now connecting and you know trying to make things happen. And that's the beauty in it. Hmm. Like we all have a start. We all have a story where we started from. You know, I never say I started from the bottom out the mud. I never say that. My mom's worked two jobs and some other shit. I would never say I, I came from the mud. Mm. No. You know what I'm saying? Work to, hard. Yeah, like I would, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I had, I, I, I didn't know what it was like to not eat. Hmm. I didn't know what it was like to not get fresh. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, it was our privilege, I guess so. You know what I'm saying? But my mom's worked hard. You know what I'm saying? So I never say I came from nothing, but I definitely wasn't throwing the alley oop either, though. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had to set a screen. I had to get hit the elbow. I had to box out. Talk your mm -hmm. shit. Rebound. I had, to, I had to clap for niggas when it wasn't my turn. Mm -hmm. Played your way into the league. I, like, I literally talk, had pom-poms in my hands for some of my niggas, bro. Talk your mm -hmm. shit. You understand? Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Nah, nah, yeah. I ain't hold you. He's that for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he's... That nigga, he'll be at the, he'll hype some shit up at the show. That nigga will be the mascot. That nigga will be whatever. Yo, you want the co-host? Come on, we... He's... He's that for me. Love you, you need nigga. that, bro. I mean, Love you, you need nigga. that. That's special because, you know, as men, like I said, we all got an ego. We all think our haircut is the best. We all think we get the freshest. I'm my shit think, twisted right now. You know what I'm saying? I like, hold you. We, I all, need a we all out. had that, though. We all had that energy sometimes, but it's like <laughs> part of being a, 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 a stand up dude is knowing how to control that hmm. and when to unleash the ego on, you know, certain things. Like, you, you just go in the booth, you could be the most egotistical nigga in the world. He is. As you should be. You know what I'm saying? But now, if you're sitting here with the homies just kicking it, watching the game, I'm you can't have that same that. energy. That's... You know what I'm saying? That's just something like, all right, this nigga's nigga asshole. still got that energy, man. I'm like that for real? <laughs> with me, at least. That's just I think that's energy. on purpose. What's that's the age difference energy. between y'all? Two years. Well, two, two years. years. Yeah. Nah, actually. No, yeah, 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 some change. When were you born? 86. 85? Yeah. You was born in 85? Yeah. So it was one year. I was born in 84. Okay, but you January and I'm February, the end of the year. Yeah, excuse me, February and I'm September, so it's a little gap there. So September like what? Twenty second. Okay, I'm the twenty sixth. What's that? You yeah, Libra. Libra. Virgo. Oh, so, last day Virgo. Yeah, I don't really get into that zodiac. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 I know y'all don't. Yeah. don't, <laughs> don't. Yeah, yeah. somebody We're say September. That. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah. That's not. That's one thing we is not doing. You today. already know I. We ain't getting it. I'm not even throw you in the garbage today. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna throw you. Oh, you heavy on the horoscope shit? What? Oh, he a Virgo. He a Virgo. Yeah, yeah. Cause we can relate. Shut the fuck up. Virgo, nigga. That shit. We got a Virgo flag. <laughs> yeah, <gotta> that. <laughs> that nigga feel like he the king of the Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> Virgo nigga. Fuck you talking about? Yo, it's in your pocket. Let me stand up, man. He got the flag in his pocket. <laughs> hey, yo, that nigga. That nigga yo, started banging. Talk about flags. Oh, ooh, I'm getting good at this. Segway. I want to talk to my nigga more about something. Go ahead. Bronx drill. Uh-huh. As a hip-hop guy, Bronx guy, mm -hmm. and in the neighborhood that's live, yeah, Creston is a lot of shit. Live. A lot of shit going down over there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We we ain't, I'm mm -hmm. saying this ain't that podcast. But mm -hmm. what's your feelings on that? What's your, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm happy that you know the young the young cats they found something that they like and enjoy and want to chase. But these niggas is trying to live their raps a little too much, man. And it's that's the that's the the part I don't like. It's like. Cause I like the uh, the K Flock kid. Mm -hmm. I liked him. I heard a couple records. I said, "Yo, this kid is. I like his energy. I like you know what I'm saying his style. You know, he he just had that 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 energy about him where he, you know it's like I'm I'm here. And you know, being from the Bronx, I like that. That whole camp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like that. Be love all of them. Yeah. So I you know I was like okay, I started paying attention. But I told my homeboy about three months ago. I said, "Yo, I'm worried about this kid." And he was like, "Why?" I said. Because he'll really throw it all away. He'll really do it. 
you, you seen it, right? I yeah, seen we it. We all on seen them. it. And I'm like, and that's the only thing I don't like with this this generation, man. It's like, I want these niggas to lie more in their raps, man. Yeah. You know what I'm Get saying? Lie more. Like, don't don't try to live that shit, man. Because mm. you know, it's like I see you see so many of these cats. That after they get the deal, they get in trouble. Hmm. And that's why I'm like, in my yeah, generation, it was different. Like, that, niggas yeah, got we in trouble before the get deal. Get out of the game. Yeah, like, before yeah. the deal, niggas was in trouble. Once the deal came, it was like, you can't get him to do nothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I like it because it's a, it's, a, it's a way out for some. I just I just think they just using it wrong. And they got to mm -hmm. reevaluate the way they're using it. Because it's the sound is, is, is something I think is going to be around for a while. With the drill shit. Yeah, it's not going nowhere. Yeah, so I think the sound is going to be around. It's going to maybe get different variations of it, but it's mm -hmm. the sound. The, the drums is always going to be that. Um, so, But it's just, I'm just, you know, I'm worried because it's like a lot of these these young cats, man, they really, really are Embedded living these. Shit. Yeah, they, they live in these rhymes, man. Like, mm -hmm. they really spinning and, you know, airing shit out. And they really, and I'm just like, wait, but y'all got to, somebody just gave you $2 million. Hmm. You can't be spinning the block and somebody just signed you. Like, that's over with. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, for, for whatever reason, I think that's part of the drill shit is that you got to still be active. I feel like drill is the new gangster rap. It's just a new term for it because this is the most. Yeah, but even in rap gangster rap, be. niggas wasn't banging on the records, though. They wasn't banging and beefing through the, through the bars. Like, Snoop wasn't really. Dissing no, niggas no, in his no. rhymes, like in other sets, and all he niggas wasn't was doing banging. that's true. Them niggas was banging, bro. No, they he no. was repping his they set, was, he was repping his set, but, but he, he wasn't, wasn't banging dissing other, on other, other, other sets. Right, 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 right. When I say that. gangster rap, it was just the oh, era where I'm sorry, I'm if them niggas was talking that shit, <laughs> you could be tested. Yeah, you'll be tested by a civilian, though. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the civilian will be an actual gangster, right? That's living that shit, and it's like, oh, you rapping where I live, nigga. You, you think you me? And that's how we will be the confliction. Now, with these niggas, they directly talking. They got a whole they, term. They, they, they tell, the and not only that, yeah, they, they tell that. you exactly what they did and what they going to do. Facts. And they going to do it. And then they go and do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and it's they kind of like dance and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm all just, that, I, I, you know, again, I, <laughs> I had to sneak and listen to what? Snoop. Doggy style. Me I had too. to, you know what I mean? I had to go in the other me room too. and play that me shit in my headphones. They threw it away, actually. Yeah, so... You know, I I'm not, I would never knock you know whatever the the new young language is and nice. however they express themselves. I can't knock it, I, but I do see where they just need to tweak the lifestyle a little bit. It's like, bro, you ain't gotta be shooting shit up and you ain't gotta be doing that. Like, y'all niggas is lit. Like, dude, y'all got a whole movement right now, and you know what I'm saying. Y'all can make a lot of money and 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 create avenues and ways out. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying. So, don't get caught up in trying to live the rhymes, but. I know that's easier said than done. You know, being honest, you know, living in the Bronx and, and coming through certain these neighborhoods and these blocks and how close everybody is in proximity to each other. You know, it's hard to tell these dudes not to really get at each other and they only live two buildings away from each other. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I get it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm, you know, I'm oblivious to what goes on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I grew up on Fordham. I grew up Crescent Ave. 188th, 190th, like it was crazy in the night. Okay, shit. I was right around the corner from probably the biggest weed block in the Bronx, like on Creston. You know what I'm saying? So it's like traffic. I seen it. Mm -hmm. I seen niggas get killed. I seen you know niggas get locked up. I seen niggas running from the cops. I seen helicopters right on top of the building. Like I've seen it all. But when niggas got a record deal, all of that shit ceased. You could never see a nigga still trying to run through the block and get active and all that. It's like, yo, he got a deal now, bro. He not doing that. Now it's the it's the complete opposite. They get the deal, they get more guns. They yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They get they get better beams on the guns. They get silencers. And then they shoot a video just showing all this shit. And I'm just like, fam, that you're not supposed to be doing that. In front of the block. In front yeah, of the building. Like you're not supposed to be like you're gonna go to jail. Like this is a this is a crime that you're committing. You know what I'm saying? So I salute them for finding a sound to express themselves and a, a language and all of that, but I think they got to tweak it a little bit though, because it's like I said, this and this new mayor is not fucking around. Not at all. He's Batman, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, he wants to fight crime, bro. You understand Yo, what I'm saying? Yo, that nigga. This nigga's a he's Batman. Yeah. yeah he yeah, wants to yeah, fight yeah. crime, yeah. my nigga. Like, nah, he. He Stop wants to coming fight back. Crime. I'm telling nigga, Yo, man. Yeah, absolutely. It's coming back, bro. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. That shit is coming back, and it's fucked up because you know it's necessary. 
Mm. Let's just be honest. Babies is getting hit. Innocent, innocent people are getting shot. Yeah, just don't stop stuff, me, like, man. Like I'm grown now, sure, man. Like I, I lived through that so. shit, Mo, no, man. I, feel, I, did I, too. I lived through the. I, I did too, man. Yeah, but I also I got, lived through. I got it. caught. I got. I got. Mother. I got locked up maybe like four times during stop bro, and listen, frisk, bro. Listen, that we all been locked up during stop class. Stop class. I've been in three class actions. Yeah, but um, but but you know, now as a, as an older man, you move us. You move different now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said I, I, yeah, I, I right. hear you, but yeah, I'm like, not you even just outside. Different, bro, you know, we got sons. I got, stop. you know, I got nephews and shit. You that's know, I just true. think of them, bro. I, I just think I, of like, I think of them too. You know, and I, think and, of them. You know I try like, to the give ones them. that's not doing nothing. Yeah, even the ones that's doing it, I'm telling them, I'm like, yo, bro, listen, it's about to get dangerous now. They throwing niggas in prison, bro. You get caught with a hammer, you going to prison. Not just three years, bro. They gonna roof you. They gonna sit you down. Cops is getting hit. Facts. Cops is dying. They just that's not a, getting bro, hit. Bro, that's once dying. that happens, yeah. it's yeah. game over, bro. Yeah. And Harlem, yeah. 135th Street. Yeah, it's God, game God over. Bless that so, thing. you know. Yeah, God, yeah, I don't never want to see that shit yeah, like that's that. It's unfortunate. That was why. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality of the situation. Everybody's masked up now because we have to be. And there's no more stopping frisk. So, everybody got a gun on them. Which right. is why you got people shooting broad day, like kids mm-hmm. getting hit coming out of school, babies getting shot. Shorty that got killed I in the Burger King, that was so, that hurt my yeah, heart. Man, yeah, that man, that shit, you know what I'm I saying? I seen a kid get stabbed on Simpson two months ago. Mm. Four o'clock. You know how busy yeah. it is on Simpson? <laughs> but they don't care because everybody, nobody getting stopped. It's God, we live in Gotham City, my nigga. I just want y'all to know that. We in Gotham yeah, City right now. I mean, shit, we are pre-apocalypse. The apocalypse happened two yeah, right. years ago, 2020, the whole corona thing. That's the apocalypse for me. For yeah, sure. it's a switchover. I, mean, I got I got over. something else. It <laughs> ain't over. We ain't done, right? No, no, no. All right, you kind of like no, running, winding running, down, yeah. nigga. No, no. Fuck out of here. Yo. <laughs> 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 that's my dog, man. Happy birthday, nigga. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't say that. And then follow <laughs> that's up that's with my happy dog. birthday. Like, <laughs> it don't work that's like that. Dog, like, happy birthday don't work that, like man. that. Show you know the cake my face. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, nigga. You and Rory Skits. Mm-hmm. Them shits is fire. Appreciate that, man. That, that was probably one of the best rollouts to a podcast. Like, I'm, I'm a real pod. I look at podcasts. That was one of the best rollouts ever. Appreciate that. No facts. And, um... I don't do that more of that shit. Mm. Uh, uh, Good let's question. Go. Well, when people start um, looking for it, not when they're looking for one, you know, when you start having them conversations behind closed doors and people start offering you money for just for those, mm. you got to start tucking those away and say, okay, <laughs> it's just chess. Mm-hmm. Oh, we ain't going to, we ain't, even, listen, let me tell you something about me and Rory, bro. We haven't even begun to really do the shit that we want to do. Right. We just giving little glimpses of it. But we got, like, we not just podcasting, bro. Like, that We not just doing that. Like, we got real shit on the way. Like, real. Like, we trying to do something like, you know, like, we the new and living color. Any spoilers? Any spoilers? Mm. I'm just saying, like, we the just trying to. New and living color, that's a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, we just trying to take it there. Like, why not? Why not? Show. Yeah, yeah why hard. not? Why not do some, you know, real fly shit? You that's know what I'm saying? Like, what, we the culture. Talk, talk your shit. You know, we the creatives. Like, why not? It's, and that's the beauty of it, man. It's, for years, we've been lied to and been told that things was harder than they really. It's not really that hard. It's not really that difficult to do these things. Hmm. Once you have access, right? Which is what you have with the internet. You have access to the world. But then when you when you when you pair that with now Rory and myself have capital. Mm. You understand? So now we could really have fun and we could really do the things that we want to do. <laughs> Come on you know talking. <laughs> No, I'm just being honest. Y'all, yeah, Ma! Hey, hey, look, smoke. Hit the horn. Listen. Yeah, Ma! How, 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 how Mook say, look, I was getting some head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> smoke smoke called me. Smoke called me. You know what I'm saying? I said, I got something they might involve getting some bread. So that smoke called me. I heard I was, you. Listen, bro, I be in my cave, my nigga. You hear me? You. I be in the crib, bro. Niggas called me. They want me to come out and want to have a conversation. This is my, this my nigga. Mm-hmm. So it's like, nigga, we could sit here, we could do this, we could do this for five days, nigga. This ain't nothing. Yo, I I got more shit for you. I like this nigga right here. He got, <laughs> he got, he got more he shit. Could, yo, Mo, he could <laughs> not wait. You he gotta got understand. He got this is shit. goat episode. Yeah. I appreciate he, he, he it. He could wait. Word. One thing you want to get better at, as far as podcasting, and one thing you feel you have to work on. No, I mean, that's the same thing. Is that the same thing? I'm high. 
Uh, kind of sort of the same, but I understand what you mean. I understand yeah. what you're asking. All right, so um, yeah, we hood niggas. One thing that I want to get better at. It's hard for me, man, because I don't I don't like to. I'm like I'm 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 really an honest guy, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I say things without a, f not really a filter, but like I got I lose sight of how how sensitive artists are with their craft. Mm. And I say things sometimes where I'm like, damn, man, if this nigga ever hear this shit, he gonna think I don't like him, or it's gonna might be a problem. You know, I just know how it is. So I want to get better at finding a way to convey what I'm saying when I I might not necessarily like an album or a song, but I want to find a better way to convey that without it coming across like that shit is trash. Mm. Because I think you can say something is this trash without having the yo, this nigga. best way to do it. I'm the king of that. You know what I say? You know what's cool? It's, it's just not, not for, for me. me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for me. And leaves it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I'm not saying it's whack. Yeah. I'm just But like, I like to say shit is whack sometimes because shit is whack. Some things you yeah, just yeah, gotta yeah, be like, yeah. nah, that's not it. But it, that don't mean that I don't like you. I don't like the song. I don't like the album. I don't like the project. But you know niggas are sensitive about what they And that's the and that's what I'm saying. So I wanna I wanna find a better way to convey that without it coming across like I'm just trying to to shit on somebody. Cause I'm never I, bro, I don't sit in my chair to try to discredit or shit on anybody. That's the corny. I don't do mm -hmm. shit like that. But now, if you put your art out to the world, and I'm a cons we're all consumers first. Each Everybody on That's the planet a is a consumer. We consume something. That's a fact. So when you put your art out and I consume it... It's for I, it to be judged. Yeah, I can I can <clears throat> say what I... I can say how I... how I, how it, I, Like, if the chef asks me how was the steak, I can tell him, like, yeah, you know, it was a little rubbery. Mm, a little dry, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That don't mean I don't like the chef. That's a fact. Because I've had other dishes that he made that just was a, work amazing. Work on your steaks, nigga. Yeah, pause, like, nigga. just this ain't you. You ain't right. master this shit. <laughs> and, you know, I think that it's okay for us to be like, yo, listen, bro, that was true. Because my thing is, and I blame it on a lot of these niggas, they homies, man. Because y'all knew that was trash when he was in the studio making it. Mm. And y'all just sitting there because y'all scared y'all going to get cut off. And them wires going to stop coming through. So y'all want to tell your man this shit is trash. Who you listening to right now? As far as rap? Yeah. Hip hop. Uh, you R&B nigga too. I'm R&B nigga too. I'm R&B yeah, nigga facts. for sure. Yeah. I like women. But, um, facts. Facts. <laughs> rap. I'm fucking with, uh, I'm fucking with Saba new album. I like I've been the Saba album. I about that. Say his album is really dope. I gotta check his shit yeah, out. Shit you gotta dope. check out Moose Swing. So Moose Swing's out right now. No shameless plugs for me. It's okay. Don't worry I'm, I'm about it. Moose Swing's out right now. It's my nigga's birthday. Moose Swing's out right now. Go we, get we, that. He know he already knows. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I'm, 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 I'm in tune in tune. I heard you. Um, I fuck with Stove God, man. Yeah, Stove God. I think he's on. I think out of the younger tier, man, I, I, I think him and, for me, him and Kodak is the best, like, young, young niggas. Like, I, I like Lil Baby and all them, too. I think them niggas are super hard. But Kodak, is a, he's a different type of artist, though. I don't think I don't think people understand exactly how talented Kodak is. A lot of his personal, like, life shit gets in the way of that, and it, it overshadows that. But, um... He's, Kodak is really special. Yeah, he is. He's a really, really special artist. Um, Stove God, I think, is... He could put on a manga hat and we still love him. Yeah, I mean, he should put it on and he got him out of jail. I, I, I would have wore too. I would have wore I would have I would have had the MAGA varsity. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, yeah. Trump wild out, though, today. We'll He's, get to that in a second. All right, go ahead. My fault, that. Y'all yeah. want to talk politics, too? Oh, no, 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 no. Not politics. Okay. It's more I don't fuck with politics. Joe Rogan-ish. Is Joe oh, okay. Rogan politician? Almost. When you make three hundred million, you got to be a politician. You got yeah. some, you you some po politics political ties. Sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Stove God. I like Saba, Kodak. Uh, who I'm listening to, of course. I'm Conway. He just sent me to his album two weeks ago. I've been listening to that shit. Uh, Benny, you know all of them niggas, man. Um, I listen to a lot of London, London drill mm. too. Mm. I'm fucking Yo. with Digger D. <laughs> Those niggas. Yeah, it's, that's that energy. Yeah, so it's a that's few of them niggas over there I'm fucking with. I got my, my man in National Fur. We working on some shit. Um, that's my man. He got a uh, his platform. He 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 bridges the gap between U.S. artists and and London artists, and how similar we are. Like that whole drill shit. You know, that's like that's their shit in London. Like the drill shit is like real London shit. Mm -hmm. That's their you know shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been tapping in with some some of the some of the U.K. artists. Um, 
But yeah, man, I listen to bro. I'm weird, bro. I listen to I listen to a lot of shit. Like sound like a manager. <sighs> nah, you know why I can't be a manager, bro? Because I don't have that. Um, I don't give a fuck enough. Mm. And I think when you manage, you got to give all the fucks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to give the fucks that the artists don't give. And me, like, if you say you ain't showing up, I'm like, all right, fuck it, you ain't showing up. <laughs> no motivation. <laughs> that nigga got no pep <laughs> talks. Right, that fuck nigga, it, nigga. You don't, you don't want to go rap? <laughs> nigga, don't rap. I'm not going. No you think talk. I'm going to pull up to your crib and knock on your door and drag you out the crib to make you go rap? I'm not doing that. Me, I'm the wrong nigga. I, I, you got to go with somebody else. I'm going to tell you, I think you should go to the studio. Or I think you should go to this show. Or I think you should get on this verse. If you don't want to do it, that's on you. I'm not here to push nobody. Like, yo, do the fuck. It's not in me, bro. I'm going to hang up the phone and get back to just chilling, doing what I was doing. Heard and then you. now your career is stagnant. <laughs> Fucking right. with a nigga like me. Because <laughs> I, I said, don't blame me. Because I'm going to always do what I got to do. Like, my shit going to be done and taken care of. Now, if you don't want to do what you have to do as an artist, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? But... Nah, managing, nah. I just like, I do like, um, I like consulting. Mm. I like just like having conversations with, 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 with artists and, um, you know, putting them in the right positions. I just send everybody to my brother, man. When niggas hit me, I'm like, yo, listen, man, I, if I think you're talented enough, I just call Biggs. And if he think it's something worth doing, then he'll, you know, he'll work. And Biggs is weird in the way where he, he, he does, yo, he's like the, Biggs is the illest nigga ever, bro. He does so much shit for people and... And never asks for any like he doesn't get paid for like half the shit he does, hmm. and he's made some major deals happen, and I'm like, wait, what? You ain't? He was like, nah, it's my nigga, man. Fuck that nigga, man. I just want to see that nigga eat. But that's mm. why he gonna that's always why he have. Always gonna be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Because he, I'm talking about, he's mm -hmm. done shit, bro. It's like it's some of the most amazing shit ever. And he like, yeah, you know, I put that whole shit. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, I I had no idea, cause I be knowing what Biggs is into, but I don't really like, I don't ask him all his ventures that he got. I just call him when I need what I need, and if he you know got some shit going on, he'll tell me. But I don't really be digging him. But then he tell me like, yeah, no, nah, you know, I got the whole Nori Drink Champs Revolt uh, Mass Appeal deal done, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, all right, nigga, I ain't even know that, nigga, but okay, tell Nori I said what's up, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> That's yeah. all. Yeah. Fly shit. Speaking of fly shit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, anytime I'm shopping in Soho, yeah. you know, I'm always running into you. Yeah. I'm running in fucking Rory. Mm -hmm. Anytime I'm in a May, it's either, you know, it's, it's a brush. Oh, shit, what's up, bro? Ah, mm -hmm. We yeah, all yeah. getting the same shit. Yeah. We, you know what I mean? However, I wanted to segue because, you know, I'm... I'm not spreading myself thin anymore just as a rapper. I've been doing different things. You know, I'm yeah. a conversationalist here. Yeah, yeah. And then I got my other show on Complex Caffeine, my sneaker show. Okay. You know what I mean? Because we doing fly shit. Absolutely. And my I'm going to wear sneakers forever, by the way. You're going to wear forever. Me too. Yeah. Me too. You know I'm what never I mean? going to get too old for sneakers. Ne never, it's never. never. It's error. And, and it's good that you said that because, you know, I also have creative control over there. So I, I pick uh, my own guests. Okay. Right? Yeah, as you should. So mm. I already have... A person confirmed mm -hmm. that happens to be oh, this one of your good friends, okay. right? And I'm like, they like, yo, you need to hit more. I'm like, nah, more coming to the crib. I mean, we, we about to part right now. They like, yo, it will be great to have Rory versus more because they sneaker collections are pretty cool, and it's a story to be told there. Okay, that's hard. So this is my formal invite. Yeah, because I hard. definitely need I'm you not on ducking my show. No smoke. <laughs> Some shit in the closet, my nigga. I got, I got a whole bedroom just for this. I know, yeah, I like, know, and, and you know what I mean? Cause I be seeing like all the episodes. You, your drip is always. Nah, Maul Ma got some my shit nigga is though. Flea. No, but like, you know, but my like nigga to see, is Maul Rory got the. Yo, but I'm gonna tell you what's funny, bro. I really don't though. Like I got, I got sneakers, but I see other niggas shit. I'm like, this nigga's crazy. He has a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, I, 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 I have, I have a, a nice collection. But I don't really chase the shit, bro. Mm. Like I see shit that I like, and I just like, alright, I want those. But I don't be, I don't know when shit is dropping. I don't know, like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I just like, I see just some shot. shit. Yeah, I see. Some, I'm like, those is hard. I need those, and I just, you know, get them. And, and a lot of the times, niggas like, oh, those is. The, I'm like, I didn't even know. I just like these. I didn't know that these was the favorite sneaker of all time. No, sorry. Don't answer that question. Oh, I'm sorry. Coming, coming on your show. This ain't the sorry. Okay. show. Pop. Okay. No, this nigga right here. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Favorite posse cut of all time. Ooh, that's a good one. Favorite posse cut of that's all time. Fire. 
Come on, you're a hip hop dude. Uh, I'll give you a minute. Just one? Three. Because I was about to say okay. it's hard to just pick yeah. just one. Um, Your top three. No, and no particular order. No particular, no particular order. order. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Of course. Gotta say. Uh, Band from TV. Uh, um, hmm. Reservoir Dogs, Band from TV. 24 Hours to Live. Uh, That's hard. We talked about all three of those. That's Who had the best three. verse on Band from TV? Asking me this today, so how I feel today. Pun. Hmm. I respect it. I mean, I, I, I like Kiss. St- I like Kiss verse on there. Yeah, yeah, I love Kiss verse. I love everybody verses. It's, it, it, like it he changed. said, he said it best. It, yeah. it could change. It could change. But why niggas sleep on nature verse? Nah, he got nature, off. Nature got off. He got off. I, I think nature I, I, don't his get name, off. Because of his name? Nah, nature was you know, so you know, you know what it was. Yeah, no, his, 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 that verse was hard. You know what it is, though? Nobody say that shit, though, ever. It's just that it wasn't for, for nature's an, a New York niggas rapper. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're from New York, you know exactly how dope mm-hmm. nature is. Right? He just got that first verse that everybody know that part. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's baby what it is. He too. got off though. He got off. He got off. I only want to I'm sound not saying, like I'm not saying. Nah, he, I love nature. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. not saying. You know saying? Even though they comments. gave him the little picture on a firm album, it was foul for that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, nah, it's crazy nah. the shit that niggas <laughs> hold on to, right? Like you always felt that way. Like yo, why they gave me? He that had to get that off. Yeah, yeah, it was foul yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, it was foul for giving my nature the little picture. Come on, see, mine's is probably Reservoir Dogs. John Blaze. Mm. Okay. And niggas done started something. I like, I like three, that. No, no order. Niggas done started something was just that. That's that, that, dogs, that beat, of course. That energy, everything was. What's that shit we was listening to? Nas. John Blaze. Yeah, John Blaze. Yeah, we was just playing that. You stole my shit, nigga. Nigga, you didn't even know the fucking name. You stole I'm, my a, shit. I'm a rapper. You telling me I stole you? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck. You know, I, I'm I bad to, at that I used too. To rap too. Like I don't, I'm, I'm terrible at remembering the names oh, of records. Yeah, me too. I'm fucked I'm up. I'm right terrible now. at remembering you, you the names. Remember I'm fucked up right now. And now, too much music come out, bro. I, yeah, I, I'm it's like, hard, bro, who? It's hard to. I don't know who is who. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like nigga who like oh I thought this was what's the name I didn't know this was a whole different person like <laughs> it's too many of these dudes that's out rapping putting out music every week it's like bro I can't keep up with this shit man but I do like the fact that you know a lot of dudes is getting a look though facts I like facts. that you know what I mean the more dudes that get a look the more dudes that got opportunities so I'm not I'm not mad at that but a lot of these niggas is trash though with that nah they said. are they are they are but you know I say. Is something for everybody. So if niggas like to yeah. intake that, certain shit, nigg- certain niggas think you know McDonald's is good. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's a market for it. Yeah. It's a market it's, for it's it. Somebody so gonna buy it. I be re- I be respecting it. It ain't gonna be me, but Word. somebody gonna buy it. Word. You you want to do your stupid segment? Cause this is your man. So you you or you, are you good? Is- not, okay. First of all, let me just say I love the way that y'all niggas just like conduct y'all <laughs> shit. Like y'all niggas low key just snapping on each other. Like go ahead, nigga, ask this nigga the shit you been wanting to ask your nigga because you pissing me off. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Listen, but this is this is the dope nigga relationship. But this is the dope shit about a podcast. Like nigga, it ain't even gotta be no overly produced shit, nigga. We That's kicking it, bro. Nigga, we kicking it. Yeah. You want to do your stupid segment? Or yeah, not? I do. Yeah, porn star of the week. Porn star of the week. Uh. Oh, he just went straight to it. See, because this, he usually got one and then he Yo, asked. hold on, hold on. So you ain't good. even did the segment. I, like, oh, come, my, on, my, come, my, on, my, come on, come on, come on, come on. Play the music. Play the music. We ain't do that in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been, been a while. Been, it's been a porn star of the week, Mark. Come on, week. my nigga. Porn star of the week. You can give your best porn star of all times, who you fucking with right now. Cause oh, my, niggas my favorite porn star of all time is Jada Stevens. Jada Stevens? Yeah. Cause she was some, I think she was some Jordan ones one time. I was like, yo, that's gangster. That was just fire. Yeah. Just suck, sucking dick in yeah, Jordan some, ones some is Jordan fire. Ones, you gotta like, be a fan. Right. I like that. You yeah. gotta be a fan of a business suck dick in Jordan ones. That's a fact. fact. Come on, man. Uh, Paul Star of the Week. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Uh, 
Savannah Bond, I think her name is. Savannah Bond. Are yeah. you putting me on? Yeah, she pretty, <laughs> she pretty, yeah, she pretty stacked thick. Pretty like, description. She always, she always looked good. Like she always just looked like, you know what I mean? She, Fuckable. Yeah, but, on, but not only porn, that, she looked but she looked like in real life she walk around looking good. <laughs> Oh, like she, like it ain't she, just made nice up for the holler, yeah. Nah, she's, she's 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 an, she's really attractive. My nigga, more. And, and, and I, I don't know if that make me like a super nasty nigga that I just knew that off the head. Nah, that's not a super. Nah, nah, nah. But you I'm know, a man. I like, I, like yeah, I, like, I like women. Yeah, I like women. Right? I like women. I like this women. nigga got a subscription to Pornhub. Bro. <clears throat> to Pornhub? Why? Yeah, you pay for bro. porn? Nah, nah. It's just a subscription. Like I, you know, <laughs> what that mean? You don't gotta pay for it? Nah, I could comment a little bit more. And shit wait, like you com- wait, hold up. Yeah, I'll be commenting. Comments. Wait, this is this. Wait, yeah, this com- is about I, to go. No, 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 no. Hey, smoke. Listen, if this nigga tell me he leaving comments, <laughs> I'm leaving comments. I, I, want, I want a nigga leaving comments. Who is this nigga you got sitting in here, man? Where's <laughs> this nigga from? from? A nigga from a <laughs> forty four. This nigga from Broadway. Shout out to my Broadway niggas, cause I'm sure y'all not all like that. I'm sure y'all not all like that. Sometimes they be mad. Too. Bro, so, I never met a nigga in my life yeah, that leave you know comments saying? on porn yeah, videos. Nah, the different. nigga say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I know I say, don't you know, know what you You know, I can save it. You know what I'm I got a collage. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, That's gangster. Save all my favorite blowjob scenes, all my back favorite backshot scenes. All that porn shit deep is crazy, scenes. man. Yeah, yeah, yo, they got some new shit. They put it like a... Like the a, amateur porn is was really taking over. That's what's popping. I was about to yeah, say. the amateur porn is taking over. They put in... That's the podcast. Yo, bro, they put in like clamps in a bitch mouth. Like, like leave her mouth open so her mouth is open. Like it's a clamp. It's like a plastic device that you bite. I can't do it. Nah, nah. I mean, they do it. You know what I'm saying? It's, nah, that's what they do in the yeah, show. Yeah, and you know, it's just straight, straight mouth. Just hitting no, no, bitch's no. mouth. I, I'm talking. They got a, a device. See, a some device of that shit that. is too. Yeah. Some of that shit is just too much. That's extreme. Nah, I'm fucking with that. It's extreme. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with the like the super sloppy head. That's my shit right oh, now. Oh no, that, I mean, listen. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the sloppy toppy right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, of you know course, what I'm but. Just putting a, a device Maul, in a chick mouth. We keep it a hundred, Maul. Maul, we keep it in a hundred, man. Because I be, I'm one of those niggas that get left in the. Here, put his head down. I'm one of them niggas that get left in the. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the background, especially when I'm around my Jamaican people. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Don't just say Jamaican like they represent West Indians. Uh, West Indians. Just say West niggas. Indian niggas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Show me love down there. Get uh-huh. to the point where you going, man. You know what I'm saying? I be, I be getting my ass ate. <laughs> okay. But why you look disappointed? Though? Nah, I don't look disappointed. <laughs> nigga said it and looked at me like he was disappointed. I, I, was, I was about to follow yeah. the no homo, but you know what I'm saying? Nah, you ain't got to do that, man. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. But you know, this nigga be trying to play me. Nah, man. Nah, because you, know you come saying? in you vocal. You... This is something you've been vocal about. Yeah. And this is something I've been vocal about. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It's two different ways of being vocal. Nah, ain't Here goes, wrong right? Because Here goes. he be trying to come at me like you he come talking about your, I'm bending over for you bitches. You get eight out. I ain't bending you over. Eight out. Nah, you yo, got yo, your own voyages. What are you talking out. about? You're getting eight out. I'm What you want me to do? I'm rolling with you. But you better not sit here and tell me you be bent over. Nah, I don't. 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 I'm not jacking that smoke. I'm letting you know right now. I'm not. This nigga too really fucking cool. You on the label? I'm not you jacking never... that. I'm not jacking that. You know what I'm saying. I'm, just saying, I'm
we were supposed to be actually doing something with Mike Tyson. We were supposed to go on Mike Tyson's podcast, but Mike mm. was out of out of the country recording or filming some some stuff. And um, damn, my niggas about to be on Mike shit. That's, yeah, Mike yeah. is Mike is official, bro. Um, and then um, so he was like, "Yo, but I, I want you to do Alexis, uh, Alexis's podcast." I was like, "Nah, I was like, I like Alexis. Like, she's cool. I seen a couple episodes of her podcast before. I think Jada was on there with her one time talking about when she came to um on the stage for our live show. So I, that's when I got." Caught wind that she was doing a podcast, so I caught a couple episodes. I thought it was dope. Um, so yeah, my man Frenchy, he um, he set that, he set the whole play up. He manages uh, Alexis Texas. Check her podcast out. She's yeah, no, her shit fire. Her shit yeah, fire. Her Yo, no good. disrespect, Alexis, but your shit's still cakey. She not taking that as disrespect. I know she. She'll not, let you know. She know she got ass. She ain't shy. She ain't shy. Nah, she ain't shy. Yo, you know the niggas used to get on her because she never had sex with a black dude on camera. So you know, the, you know we spoke about that because I didn't, I didn't know that. So. When uh, people had found out that we was on her podcast, they was like, "Oh, y'all went on her podcast." She yeah, didn't people even like black coming, guy. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, "What are we talking?" Because I, you ain't listen, know, right? I'm yeah. one of those people that, you know, know if I, I sit in the room with you and I get a vibe of you, if I hear something about you, I'm like, "What, really?" Like, because I never got that vibe from her that she didn't like me. Mm-hmm. Like, I never, it never. <laughs> not saying she wanted to fuck me, but like, she's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was right. in her her crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's real cool. We was kicking it after before we started recording. After we recorded, like. So I never got the vibe that she didn't like black guys. Like I didn't get that vibe. So when I heard about it, I um, I went and um, I, niggas you know, didn't get that vibe about Joe Rogan either. But I'm fucking. I went. I went and uh, <laughs> I went and um, I looked it up myself. I was like, let me go see what they talking about. And I'm looking at it, and they're like, oh, she, cause she had answered it. They was like, why haven't you had sex with a black guy on camera? And however she said it, it wasn't like she didn't like black guys. It was just saying that she just never filmed with them on camera mm. that was just her preference yeah. so i'm just like okay like every human on this earth is entitled to a preference right like we can have a preference right like you don't think that's a little strong preference you don't even like if sucking black dick on camera even, but, but even just if, off camera but even if it's even if it's a strong preference it's like it's her preference though Nah, i respect it you know what i'm saying so it's like I, does that mean she doesn't like black men nah, no nah, i didn't nah. i didn't take that from that nah. like she just hasn't performed with a black man on camera so I left it at that, like, and and we spoke about it, and then she was like, "Yo," she said, "I really can't believe that like people are upset at what I said." She was like, "They they're taking this shit like the completely wrong way, out of context." I said, "And that's what happens with the internet, and you put things out there, and they chop it up, and they want to take from it whatever they want to take from it." But she's super cool, man, and she she's there's definitely no racial like racist tone with her you know, mm-hmm. energy. That's not. Nah, I, I, I don't can, see it. I don't. I see can it. vouch for that. She's not. She's she's not on it like that. Nah, I don't see it. That's not. That's not what that is. That's just her preference. For whatever reason, she just hasn't had sex with a black man on camera. Has anybody asked if she ever had sex with a black man? Period. See, that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. She just yeah, said on yeah, camera. That's what I said. That's what I said. She said. Su- I know she's sucking dick. I know she's sucking black dick off camera. Yeah. So I'm just Ain't like, no I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, has anybody asked that question? Like, oh, okay. So you just haven't performed with any? Like. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just like I, I don't know, man. But this is like a super hypersensitive era. Everybody wants to be offended. But she was in a relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. like most of her career too. Yeah, she was married. Yeah, she was so married. So that's maybe why I maybe think she it was, was married or engaged, him. something like that. But yeah, yeah she, she left home. She she's left cool, home, man. She's she's she was mad. Homie was she, homie was able to fuck other women, but he he only he wanted to control who she fucked. Damn, you know a lot about this shit. Yeah, he's, nah, he's a savant. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a porn a savant. savant. He, yeah. he surprises me all the time. Like, yeah, <laughs> Alexis, what up, though, baby? I fucks with you. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I whacked off to Alexis a couple times. Yo, son. You know what I'm nah, saying? he's close, he, man. He yeah, nah, I know. I, you see? Now, now you see why he's here. Yeah. You feel me? Close, he's the bro. heart of the show. Me, yeah. I'm I'm the face. I'm the personality. That balance, bro. I'm the balance. balance. He's the heart. Yeah. They, you know, they're going to tune in to see what they say. They be mad when I come for him, but I want y'all to know I do it on purpose. I love this nigga in real life, but yeah. a lot of my undertone is real shit that I say to him because this is my friend, mm-hmm. but we both learning on the job, mm-hmm. right? Fact. So. That's what that is. I respect it. It's cool. You got a cool outfit on today. I don't got nothing to say to you. You got a cool outfit on all the time. You always, this, you, this always look, you always merch. look cool. This is you always look cool. actually um, a show that that's on um, Dame Dash Network. I did that so you could set up to say. Oh yeah, was. OSG Dennis McKeezy. Okay. Off school grounds. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then your hat. My girl, fuck with them and shit. You know what I'm saying. And shout oh yeah, bakery. Shout out to bakery. You already know Chi. You already right. my nigga Chi. Oh shit, plugs. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the fact. That's a fact. You know, shout, shout out to the crate. Shout out that's to my nigga Rel, my Queens nigga. You know what I mean? So that's how we giving it up here. <clears throat> but my brother, thank you for stopping by. 
Yo, this shit was. Yo, this listen, is definitely man, one I had, of our goat episodes. Listen, man, I I'm just glad you you know you called me and invited me to come kick it, man. I'm proud of you. I see what you're doing. I, I already told you. I said, nigga, like you built for this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're one of my favorite niggas in this space. Definitely one of my favorite rappers. You always rep the city. Yo, I'm gonna ask you, what happened with Jet Life? Nothing. Currency is one of my best friends. Like, but you uh, was you fucking with Jet Life? Was you, know, you was you supposed to be signed or something at one point? Um, I, at one point, I would say Spitter was just still growing the business, mm -hmm. and and it just didn't come to terms that way. But I forever waved that flag. Facts. Like it's, it's some shit that you know. It's mafia for me. It's, it's like the mob. Like, I got my own shit, my RFC shit and all that. Right. You know what I mean? And obviously, Smokers Club, yeah. Cinematic. It's a lot of shit that I'm a part of that, you know, my DNA is in. And Jet Life is definitely one of those things. But the business just, I guess it just wasn't, it was too early before that yeah. really started happening. You know it's what I mean? It's kind of like but, the 35 Mentors shit, Katie. It just was different timing. Literally. But mm -hmm. bust it, here's the, the illest part is, you know, I got this fucking group text that's probably going off right Yo, now. Yo, this is the illest shit going. ever. And it's, it's me, Spitter, Wiz, Snoop, B-Real, Method Man, Red Man, Devin the Dude. That's the real smoke Burner, spot. Right? And, and we're, we're putting something together where we all own it. Mm. And have equity and you know different shit. So <clears throat> I know it's, it's a lot of hype around the the, the Stoner Olympics. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's actually gonna be called, but it's definitely a thing that we currently working on. Got a Zoom call and shit soon. And I'm not competing, but I'll like go. That. Oh, it's, go, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be good. Gotta, it's gonna be I'm good. These, smoking with y'all. These man. niggas is going crazy. They got this flip fifty flip challenge from this apparatus, this G pen G pen thing that. Wiz and B-Rail and Styles. Oh, Styles P. I left Styles P out. I can't forget uh, the integral ghost. part yeah. of, of the chat. He's fucking going ghost. crazy in there with this fucking 50 flip. Right, uh, man. And, and, you know, the best part of, of, of that conversation and the whole concept is it started right here in this room with me and Styles P talking about who smoked more than who. Yeah. And see, then that's it just how, that's, came But that's to, how the coach you know? is supposed to be. It's supposed to start from an idea. Word. And then we're supposed to just support each other's ideas. Word. You know right. what I'm saying? It's that simple, bro. That's why I said niggas like to throw, oh, nah, you know, it was hard to do. No, it's, it's, it's stop, man. Because we control this whole shit. Facts. If we want something to happen, it's going to happen. Facts. If we want a record to be hot, we're going to make it hot. We're going to make it hot. That's if we want fact. some sneakers to be fly, we're going to make them fly. So it's <clears> like, nigga, if we want to start the Stoner Olympics, we're going to start the Stoner. It's just that simple. You we know what I'm saying? It's, it's, we ain't, it ain't no red tape, no. We're going to start the Stoner Olympics. And mm -hmm. that's how it starts ideas, conversations, which is why. Podcast and this shit is important. Facts, facts. Shit like that starts from just organic conversation. Facts. Funny story with Styles. I, I said it before, man. I, <clears throat> when I was in uh, we was in uh, uh, SOBs, and I, I think it was Royce performing. It was Royce mm. Royce album release. Or oh, I like was that. there. He bought me out too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was standing, <laughs> you know, the little VIP section is by the stairs. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. standing like right in front of the <clears throat> banister, and. The short dude, you know, he walk up, he got the hoodie on, book, mm -hmm. book bag. Because it was real hip hop shit in there that night. Right, you know how right, it is. Right, like, yeah, it ain't no. That's that's it that yeah, yeah, it ain't yeah, no, it ain't yeah. no, no Tunnel funny coats and all of that Tunnel in there, box. bro. Yeah, it's straight. Nah, no funny coats. Yeah, ain't no funny coats yeah, in no there. So, coats. we, I'm standing there, I'm like, this dude walking by. I see he like kind of mobbing, like he by himself walking through everybody. So, he stand right next to me. So, you know, automatically, I'm just like, right, who is this? But he took his hoodie off, it was style. Okay, it was SP. So he started lighting, lighting up, man. So I was like, of course, you know, he's going to... And this was back when... Now you could probably get away with smoking in the venue. Now, it was, you know, back then it was kind of like... Yeah, yeah, that crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you couldn't do that. He's smoking and all that. So <clears> that's security that's walked down on him and was like... Like, yo, my man, you got to put that out. So I'm standing. I'm like, man, if Styles put this blunt out, my nigga... Not for homie. Like, not for him. You know what I'm saying? Like... If it's somebody else, it's like you like okay, it's probably some kids around or a woman, somebody, whatever. Like, but I you respect. SP though, so that's what I'm like, saying. I'm like, ghost, I'm like, I'm like, ghost. He can't. He better not put this blunt out. So <laughs> SP was like, nigga, you crazy nigga. I'm the ghost, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> SP. yeah. So I, you know, I was just laughing in that moment, man, because. It's like he didn't know I was really like looking at the whole situation. But you wanted to see. But I gotta see if it's like, yo, nigga, let me just see if that's. He gonna really keep it ghost. gangster like, real fast. Cause SP ain't putting the blunt out. For you know nobody. what I'm saying? Exactly. So that was just fly to see that in that moment. The bouncer like, got really, dubbed. 
Yeah, but then after a while, like everybody was kind of looking at the bouncer, like, yeah, you crazy for telling Styles to put his blunt out, like, nigga, you look, you look stupid. Yeah, them yeah, the hater type song. niggas, you know that. Yeah, so he didn't, homie didn't know he was just working the event, doing his job. Yeah, yeah he didn't know that this is Styles P. It's like mm-hmm. fam, this is Styles P. That's like asking motherfucking who don't know Sway Styles to take P. off his hat. You Facts. know what I'm saying? That's not <laughs> <laughs> like you tell Styles to put out his blunt. Like, come on, man, you crazy as hell. <clears throat> Shout out to Styles P. Yeah, but I just had to ask about I that shit. Like, shit, I fuck with Spitter, man. He he texted me this morning. He's supposed to be sending me some fucking some merch, man. Yeah, Spitter, man. Uh, t- look, if Spitter's texting you, man, you're a good guy, man. Because that nigga in the he phone... He don't talk to nobody, right? No, nah, he be texting. He be texting. <laughs> but that nigga there, he's a piece of shit, man. Yeah? He is a piece of grand God, piece of him, shit with the I phone. Just fuck, nah, I just like, fuck. I like him. dudes that brother. just be on the same type of shit I'm Nah, with. that's my brother, man. I love that nigga to death, man. Me and that nigga was on FaceTime laughing the other day. It's a good, good nigga. But, um... Yeah, B. This is a uh, it. It's this over. Is, yeah, this this is a big this is a big Yo, listen, deal man, for us, man. Don't put no cut on my shit, man. You know what I'm nah, this, nah. Look, you gotta tell I me I now. tell niggas. Tell no, 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 no. Listen, listen. I tell. Yo, niggas. I know everybody. I got relationships. No, 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 no. It's a little different. It's a little different. Now I would, I tell people, look, you know, I'm gonna do the. I don't want to be a part of that. But this is my brother, and the story is well documented. And I'm not hitting the work with no cut. So, without just its eye. That's the name of that. That's the name of the episode. No I'm not, cut. I'm not no cut. No cut. No cut on that, man. No cut on that. But um, you know, it's been a lot of gems dropped on this joint from you. You're a walking gem. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, man. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just me, man. You know me for years, bro. I'm, I never changed up. I'm the same That's cat. A fact. <laughs> And more I'm, you know, life flex. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, more, I just, I just, I just. All in here on the life flex. Nah, man, I'm just, you know, I just, I, I like, I like nice things, man. Come on, man. You know, I don't bother nobody smoking. Yeah, nah, I'm with I'll you. I'm with you. I'll be in the cut. I'm, bro. I'm with you. I'm I don't fuck with nobody. Me, I don't bother nobody. Oh, it's light. I mean, little. You gotta enjoy life a little you, bit. You got to. You got yeah, to. I man. mean, look, man. You know what I'm saying? We only live one time for what we That's know. That's it, yo. Know I mean? But I'm just yeah, listen, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing it for niggas like us, man. Right. That's a fact. Right. You know, like I'm just trying to do it for niggas like us from the places that we come from. And, you know, we got a voice. We got, we got things that we bring to the culture. We are the culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from the Bronx. That's where it started. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm just, I'm just trying to just do, do, do my thing, bro. I ain't bother nobody. I ain't got beef for nobody. No hard feelings. I want everybody to, you know, do what they do, live life, be blessed, get to the bag, take care of your families, but just stay out my way. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. Like I ain't. It's no beef. You know, but just leave me alone. Right. Let me be in the cut. Let me do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I I don't I don't talk I, I don't talk bad about nobody. Um, you know I don't got no animosity, no hard feelings towards anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just one of those dudes, man. That just I just be in my own zone, and I come outside every now and again just to say what's up and show love, and then I'm going right back in my cubby hole, man. I ain't bothering nobody. That's how I be. But just please stay out my way. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. Look, man, I echo fucking that. Fucking Maul, man. That, that, that's a gem within itself, yeah, man. My Maul. motherfucking brother Maul in this yeah, motherfucking, sure. you know what I mean? Exactly. What's that stupid shit you say for you? Yo. Curls for the girls, ways for the babes, nats for the hood rats. Show Broadway, ho. You got Maul in the motherfucking building. Check them out on the Mall and Rory podcast. You already know Smoke Dizza, personal party podcast. Chip. You had to end it with the whack ad lib. You was good before the whack ad lib. Listen, man. Came. Chip. We out of here. Mall, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Ellie.